Live from Los Angeles, California, the home of Hollywood, California, it's Nartapes Night Live with your host, Ricky Gay, and voted LA's hottest co-host, Isaac Arita. This is Nartapes Night Live. I'm doing good. I'm trying to figure out. You have a mic over there? I'm on the built-in microphone on the computer, yeah. Okay. So I have a mic going on uh, here. Nice. Um, okay. All right. Yes. All right. Cool. All right. Hold on. Uh, Steel, our roommate, he's in his room. But it's just me and Isaac in here. And we're going, man. We got some things planned tonight. But uh, let's see how it goes. We're just drinking a little bit. Got the loop machine here. I even got my, uh, my shirt, my, uh, my uh, airbrush shirt set up. And, uh, 
you've seen how things go with my raffle off the shirt. Uh, I might make one. I might show you a live, uh, live taping of me making one. Oh, we were talking about Rocket League earlier. I haven't played in a long time. I'm not very good at it. I keep playing uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm 100 hours in. Uh, Crux told me, and Isaac, you don't tell me how long the hour he has. Makes sense. Uh, I'm assuming it's a lot. Who else out there plays Animal Crossing? Who else is on there? I know it's you. I, I feel like something on here. That, hey, hold on. Your mic. Need it right now. Just. Just trying to troubleshoot this issue with Ricky's mic. Um, like I said, we've been. We're just. We're just trying to uh, get back into the swing of things. And there's definitely, um, you know, uh, growing pains that go along with all that type of shit. Technical. Yeah, and so fine here. One more. Hey. All right. So um yeah, 
Hip Hop Isaac, you want to see Hip Hop Isaac? Is that? Check, check, check. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like, um. Oh, from the mic. Like, I'm not getting right. Maybe? What's up, guys? Poo Butt, good to see you, Poo Butt. Who said he really wants some hip hop Isaac? Say one song. Say one song. Okay. Well, you know how we go. All right, all right, all right. Let me. I'll play that. My yeah, my mic is because I'm going off the the uh, house mic on my computer, and I have like the nice mic going out to Ricky. But for some reason, it's not. It's like something going on. There's something going on. Yes, it, it could definitely maybe be something like that. Let me put on. I'll put on the hip hop Isaac video right now, and. Um, how about that? Yes. Oh, what the fuck is going on? So. Bye, Zach. Okay. It's right here. Full screen. Okay. And, um, yeah. We'll, uh. We'll get this going for you. So, there's some of the connection to the my cable is hot as well. Yeah, that's exactly, there's something going on. So, I'll play this video, and um, I think uh, you guys will enjoy it. Oops.
All right. Mm -hmm. Does the mic sound better, maybe? All right. How's it sound? Does it sound better? Does it sound better now? How's it feeling? How you feeling out there, y'all? I feel like, uh... guys so that was I, I, uh, hip hop isaac isaac's new rap project first video the album is on uh spotify bandcamp all that shit uh if you want to listen or you can buy it on bandcamp in case you're not the type uh who has uh streaming services and likes to support the artist directly you can go to the bandcamp i see a lot of familiar faces and names in the uh chat <coughs> nice to see all y'all The no, it's quiet. Yeah, it was the cable that was doing the the fucked up thing. Right. Okay. So we're 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 in the we're in a lot better shape. I feel like. All right. Oh, sounds so good. I can hear that joint sing. You can hear the you can hear the smoke uh, crack lacking right there on the tip. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying to me? Too quiet, dog. Okay. Turn it up. Turn this shit up. Hello, hello, hello. Nartes Night Live, Los Angeles, California. How about now? Do I sound good now? Ricky just sounded good as fuck, he said. Okay. I think that's that that's better. Just gotta talk a little loud. I might need to project, even though I got a headache right before we started. It might be time to uh, take a shot. <laughs> you said you got a headache right before we started. Okay. Okay, I'm uh, I'm working on it. Um, I'm just troubleshooting on the fly. Um, I've been trying to uh, get. Get my mind wrapped around OBS and all those. Cheers, cheers. Hold on, wait. One more time. I can well, we do it we together. Don't put, we didn't put up there is the PayPal. Where to send the PayPal to? Uh, we can we can do that. Cheers. Cheers. Don't touch anything. Okay. So it sounds good. A PayPal at Nartapes? No, it's Chrissy Line. Yeah. Okay. Jim is not present. No. He had work today. He has work tomorrow. So he's on the domestic plane. I think he said he had, went to school. Mm. He had class today. He's like Rodney Dangerfield. But the show's only, we've only been on for 18 minutes. We, we're going for three hours. So who knows? His girlfriend lives literally like across the street. So he might show up. Surprise us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you never know. You never know. All right. Hey, I see a lot of good names in there. Okay, yeah, it sounds good. I think it sounds good now. Cool. Yeah, it was that cable. That was that was what's going on. It was yeah, good. Bungles in New York. I wonder if he's watching. Are you watching, Funkle? We should try and get him on a... Uh... Skype call? Yeah. We should. Or Zoom. I have Zoom. It's midnight there right now. I have Zoom um, and Skype. Text him. I guess, uh, I guess the, uh, I can do Google Hangouts with Funk. Let's see what's up with Funk. Yeah, I like Hangouts. Man. I love smoking joints. Number one, very favorite, most favorite way to smoke weed. Especially, especially these days, guys. Man. It's crazy to be back on Narcase Night Live. We've only been live for 20 minutes, and it already feels like uh, we're back in the swing of things. It took 20 minutes of uh, technical difficulties, but now I can probably get loose a little bit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, do you guys like the video? That's a fun bit. Um, a lot of you guys were here when we live streamed the, the listening party, so that was really fun, really fun to do. And, yeah. Oh. It's actually on Spotify now. 
and you can hear all that shit on Spotify. I want to shout out Lofty Pursuits uh, from Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, the best hard candy that I've ever had. Uh, and also have really, really entertaining YouTube videos. That's how I heard of them. As I watched some, him make a, a banana candy. And actually, some of you guys in the chat, so you probably remember Tay Hao Moon, our friend from Singapore, who's a, a, a longtime viewer of the show. He uh, hit me up recently when he saw that I had some, saying that it is his one of his bucket list items is to go to Tallahassee and watch Craig make the candy. And uh, I would love to do that as well. And the banana candy is the best banana candy I've ever had. It tastes like real bananas, new bananas, not uh, the old one. This is not weed candy. It's just real hard candy made Victorian era style, 1890s style. It's just great, delicious candy. Yeah, it's very, very, very good. And it's like, it's it's sweet, but it's not like how candy is now where it feels like uh, it's destroying your teeth and your, you know what I mean? Like you can like feel that type of sugar out. But it's, all it is, hard candy is just like, <coughs> they just make a, they just keep cooking candy down until it's like a molten, or sugar down. It's just like sugar. Yeah. It's just like cooked and cooked until it's molten. And then they just add flavoring and food colors. It's like glass. It. It's like uh, blowing glass almost. Yeah. Very similar. You know, I couldn't roll joints very good back in the day, but now I roll them just fine. Yeah, you roll them great. Fuck old banana. What the fuck are you talking about? We're talking about banana flavors. Why fuck old banana? She's just joking. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't be harsh on Carly. She's just fucking trying, dude. <laughs> Carly just out here like the rest of us. Doing her thing. Trying to do her thing. Oh man, good to have a joint. Good to have you guys here. We're just chilling, we're relaxing. Yeah, kind of like uh, the pilot. This is kind of like the pilot run of. Uh, yeah. Of the new, the new uh, season, if you will, the new era. It's the Nartapes era, funked out with the Nartapes twist. I mean, Nartapes really se Network season one all over again. Yeah. We're just going back. We're going back in time, restarting. Um, we watched Escape from L.A. last night, so it's kind of like uh, we restarted uh, society. Sent out the huge EMP. So this is the newest NAR tape we have. This is Boy's Age. Um, I don't know how you say it. <laughs> he's in Japan. He doesn't really speak English that well, but he's great. And uh, we, would put, we put out his first... U.S. cassette in 2013. Boys Age has done a lot of tapes now with a lot of uh, U.S. cassette labels, and he's well loved. He's got a fucking song on Spotify that has like four. Uh, but this one's really, really good, and it's only six bucks at the arttapes.com website. And uh, I just picked them up yesterday. Today, up yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yesterday. Day before yesterday. Was uh, so they're brand new, and uh, we've only sold a few of them because I haven't really been hyping as much. So let's try to sell some tonight. If you guys all bought one tonight, I would make them my money back, uh, and then the tapes would be they would they would have been a technically successful run. All I need to do is sell forty of them to make the money, a little less than half of the. Um, So go to the website, guys, and get some NAR tapes. And the more you get, the better you are. And if you get three, I'll throw in a fourth for free too. Um, just I like to do things. Do we have the track somewhere? What? But for the tape? On oh, Bandcamp. Uh, on his Bandcamp or ours? Both. I mean, it's okay. our, his. His is linked on ours. Oh, okay. Uh, we can play some of those songs too. Yeah, NAR Taurus tape. We have. A First Nart <laughs> the first uh Nart Tapes Network tape we did with Similar Alien, which there's a couple copies right here, actually it's not on the website for some reason. I need to put them on here. The similar alien tape right here. I don't know why it's not on the website. Right, maybe it got fucked up. Gotta do it again. But uh they at least similar aliens the first it even says right here, Nar two forty slash net net zero zero one. Uh net zero zero two is gonna be Carly G. And net zero zero three is gonna be Shrimp Olympic. Then we're all. I want to do human, and I want to do Taurus, and everybody else too. We just got to do it uh, one at a time. Uh, uh, hype them and get the most out of them. Buy them, and we can uh, the money back. Us cost money to make. Cost money to make. I do. I just pay for it. I'm, you know, 
buy off the website, and then if I'll pay out of pocket. I haven't used the uh, the money I make on the discogs where I just keep selling all. So our just the Nartape's discogs <clears throat> has a lot of stuff on there too. All right, we can listen to one. Do you, do you know any of these the songs by name? Mm -hmm. I like Blue Black. Let's Blue Black. It. Let's listen to that one, huh? Try that. Yeah, where's human? It might be working or something. I was like, he's totally, it sounds to me like he's just singing whatever it is that comes to his mind, right? Like, I don't know. Hey, there we go. Austin Wiggins, nice. Thanks for buying an, uh, the Boys Age tape. You're a fucking G. Yeah, 
Yeah, Magic Woman is like his iconic song. Kind of how like my Free Weed, Free Weed song is like my pop popular one. That shit has 1.2 million plays on Spotify now. It's amazing. It's so sick. Throw that in my haters' face. It's so fucking funny. Do <laughs> that. Spotify, I have mixed feelings. It's a mixed bag, but it's really cool. And I use it. And I mean, I have a subscription to Spotify because I listen to music constantly. Like, shower, listen to all these dishes. Let's do it while playing Animal Crossing. Woo! I gotta text these guys. Tell them, they're talking about Animal Crossing. And I need to tell them we're on. We're streaming live right here on the on the fucking uh, internet. Alright, what song is this one? That song's old though. That free beat song. It's blowing up, kind of. It's just it's in a slow burn because it's just been on. It's like so the guy who put it out, Zach. Unfortunately, passed away in Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving 2018. <clears throat> but he put out that record in 2015, and uh, something about when that came out, he just got it like in some kind of algorithm where it just it still shows up in Discover Weekly all the time. People send me the Discover Weekly of the of that of that song often, and so it's just like that. I think it's just got a lot of traction on like like Spotify playlists, Discover Weekly playlists. I think. Of people who are into like cleaners from Venus and like other contemporary stuff, like me, you know, and like yeah, same thing with the I don't understand the memories uh, go down. It's like 1.8 million now. It's about to break two million in probably like a month or two. And that song also that song's from fucking 2012. It's old. Which is cool to see that. It's really nice for me, you know. To, to, to see people like the music, you know, we've been doing it a long time and like pretty like obscure in the grand scheme of things, uh, and it's just nice to know that like there's a that there's some songs that like have lasted and endured, and they're not they weren't just they, they, they were they were good songs. It makes me really happy. Like, people like it. People still people still send me songs. And then people like I'll be posting about the new memory shit. Like, the other day somebody was like, "What? You're in the memories?" <laughs> they're like, "They do." They were like, "I was listening to you when I was 12." <laughs> I'm 17 now. <laughs> and I was like, what? That's almost two high school. Yeah, dude, they're they're seventeens now. I don't remember who even it's like I mean I have a lot of followers and most of them are like into like the music I thought, but they didn't even know. I, I guess I've been because I've been doing funny stuff on my Instagram, the Tuesday thing for like the past year. That I've been getting an influx of followers that are more into like the kind of like just humor or shit that I post. But it's cool to see people who like just know about the band and it's just funny it's a small world. Hi, you're hell yeah. Put the friend code. I put my switch friend code. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, the PayPal needs to go up there. Oh, yes. Um... Hell yeah, the Cheech Wizard. My voice pitched up would be sexy. Am I like weird? Slight lisp. Is that like uh, Grimes? <laughs> what about Grimes Baby? What is the name? It's like X A A A 12. And I saw some people like trying to like, it's like decoding it. And somebody said, like, the, I guess Elon Musk liked this tweet. It was somebody trying to decode it and they said it was like Ash Archangel. Interesting. It's like they would decode it. Because that, like, something to do with Ash in Swedish is like. And then Elon Musk liked that. No, I don't know. It's Elon Musk like fifth or sixth kid or something too. He had like four or five kids with his first wife. Now he's had a kid with his girlfriend. Who's the, the pops, the weirdo pop sensation grinds. Oh yeah, Carly, you got oh dog. All right, well tomorrow when I'm hungover, I'll come over to your island. I'll hook you the fuck up, dude. I'll give you one of each fruit. So you can start, uh, you can start like uh, getting your fruit trees going, and then I'll bring you a a, a a pole and a ladder so you can get around the rest of your island. And I'll bring you some extra shit that I have that I have doubles of. Oh yeah, Sasha Archangel. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, Grimes decoded it and then he corrected her. Okay. <laughs> Elon unfollowed Grimes on Twitter. He he's been wilding out on on, on that on, on that right. He's been very like a much from a proponent of uh of uh 
opening up the country and stuff. Is he? Yeah. Well, you know, and then, and then it sucked because he said a lot of this stuff, and, and then, like, Tesla stock went, like, super down. So a bunch of fools were, like, bummed because, like, you know, they believe in, in, in Elon and Tesla. and Lex like, Luthor? And what they can do, yeah. It, it, we're, like, one, he's, like, one breakup from Grimes away from becoming Lex like, Luthor. Lex Luthor. He's, like, yeah, he's, like, he could be Tony Stark. But he's not gonna be, and it's, he's just gonna become Lex Luthor. It's just inevitable. He's not gonna start. He's gonna become Lex Luthor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really do the Twitter thing. I can't do it. It's just kind of. I mean, I need to just try it. I keep trying every couple of years. I had a, 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 a my best tweet. I had a tweet that had like. 100 and something likes it was about Lord of the Rings <laughs> that, that's like the, the biggest any post of mine has got on there I kind of also have, I, I post a TikTok every, once in a while like I had a TikTok video that went kind of viral I have like 180,000 160,000 views uh, on the, my Cheesecake Factory review video but I don't know it's hard to keep up with a lot of stuff but I like it I like it what is that dance what is that No, I was just looking at this comment trying to figure out what that emoji is. Okay. Hey pal, coming right up. Alright, that's roachin. That's approaching the roachin zone. La cucaracha! You know that, that song actually about that? About leaving roaches on the trail to fight the uh, Spanish. I gotta do more TikTok stuff, but... I just kind of just post like my best stuff from my Instagram stories, kind of. Grimes was caught telling Azalea Banks she was trying to get pregnant from Elon. What? Wait, what? Isn't Azalea Banks like also like totally demented? She goes off too, right? Azalea Banks. And then Iggy Azalea. Iggy Azalea is a, Iggy just, Azalea is the Australian. one from Australia. Yeah, and then Azalea, Azalea Banks is the crazy. Yeah, she's the, she she be walling out. She's a time. wild child. She also, why was there everybody was, was mad at uh, Doja Cat for some reason? Why? I don't remember, but there was like people like mad at her. Why? I don't know. I could never be mad at her. I love Doja Cat. Me too. I've been on Doja Cat. Yeah, you you showed me her like when that when that the mood the, 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 the mood song was like barely anybody saw. Yeah, juicy and like juicy. I was on. I like. Uh, that album came out like what, like almost a year and a half ago. Also, you showed me like her boyfriend at the time. It was like some white fool. I was like, damn, there's a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I have a huge crush on her. Oh my god. Yeah, she's my. She's oh my, my god. She's my number one. She is so. Do we watch her on her Instagram live? Yeah, she's awesome. She's a trip, dude. She's trippy as fuck. She's a weirdo. She's def yeah, dude. Like, like for real. She's like for real deal. Like. Oh, she's the uh, the the f word. On what? I don't know. Oh come on. Little kids be saying that. Oh, that word. Oh my that, god. That f word. Stay I've on. never heard the term semen demon before. <laughs> that is fucked up. Is this not downloading? Oh, Dale Boone is here. Why? Fucking download. What? You want me to throw your toy here? Oh man. So yeah, we put Isaac's video. I don't know if she apologized, but that's, honestly, I'm not PC, guys. I'm very liberal, and I'm very uh, into like people feeling safe and shit like that, but also at the same time, I, I, I don't know. I can't imagine it being that bad, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I also just don't like if I could even like, touch that shit with a fucking 10 foot pole. Um, whatever, dude. Whatever. Bro, what the fuck ever? Should we talk about a fucking... Ahmad Arbery, guy who was fucking shot down, fucking with a shotgun, jogging through the fucking that little neighborhood in Georgia. I went sign the petition today. I'm not gonna go on politics thing. It's not my thing. I don't like to do that. But like, if you guys have two or any seconds, go sign that petition. That shit's fucked. Um, yeah, it looks like everybody's in the chat. Um, I don't see. Uncle, so he must not be watching. He's probably getting his bobo on. <laughs> He's getting his bobo on, dude. 
But he's like, I was like, man, at least you got your like, you're like quarantined with your girlfriend. He's like, yeah, I know. I have like the best situation. I'm like, fuck <laughs> you, dude. Like, definitely, I've never been. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna go. I've never been this horny in my life, dude. Like, this shit sucks. <laughs> this shit sucks. But hey, man, we're all human. Only there's only one human seven one three, baby. You know, we took human on the road with us for like a, a week. Uh, a last summer when uh, broke his goddamn chair. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we didn't fuck him, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah. We took him out there on the on the fucking open road. Yeah, we popped his tour cherry. We popped his big. Took him out there, showed him what the ropes were about. Let him play drums and memories for a couple weird shows. It's tight, man. I think the best, the best, my favorite of the human shows we did, Denver was pretty great. Yeah, Denver was awesome. Uh, Salt Lake was really weird, but it was fun. Um. I just fucking oh what I wouldn't give to go on a fucking tour right now I mean if we were leaving for tour tomorrow with a van full of merch and like a bunch of songs ready to go man that would just be like better than Christmas oh my god yeah you know not even doing Europe like we just did like it's, like, it's a little mellow oh, US tour just San Francisco just San Francisco baby oh my god anything Huh, dude. Damn, calling. let me kiss that ring motherfucker what's up Colin? Colin? What's up, dog? A couple of India named their baby sanitizer. <laughs> Wait, what? Tito's and Kearns, that's right, Carlo. Tito's and Kearns and Topo Chico. I like the, the screwdriver sprints. I like the screwdriver. I'm feeling the, the screwdriver. I'll pull your, your mind around, too. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, we got um, just, yeah. just a quick update. I remember Isaac telling uh, him to get off the floor. He's like, get off the floor, dog. What? In Denver, we did, like, oh yeah, because he fu- well no because he he, <laughs> he fell over and, and, and knocked over a huge can or a huge trash can full of cans <laughs> and then it like got all over the ground <laughs> and he was like laying out I'm like dude you need to get the fuck out we gotta clean this shit up dog. <laughs> it was like after hours too so it was like we had to like we have to be cool man we have, we have we have to keep our cool you know um but yeah so so I just threw I it out there I drink I literally. I literally, literally drank liquor out of a guy's belly button on the bar. Yeah. So I don't know if we had to be that cool. Nah. But you know, the the, the there was definitely one fool that was not happy about about that. Yeah, there was always one fool, dog. But, uh, but yeah, just uh, just a quick update. I did add yeah, here, our. Uh, you go, you go talk. I added the PayPal information. It's right there on the screen. We also got the Venmo Cash App situation. If you just want to like do a direct donate. Um. That would be great. You got the website right there, and then of course me and like the little TV. I gotta make a scene where um, it's just me, TV. That's what I need to do next. So yeah, I'm just really trying to um to get my chops up on the OBS. I want to wrap my mind around all this shit. I want to be like the streaming whiz, you know. I want I want fools to be like, Isaac. Here's six thousand dollars. Help me stream this uh, yeah. wedding or whatever. Yeah. That's. I was like, I was like, buy me a present, bro. <laughs> All right. Do you want a double double or a triple double? I never do a triple double. I'll double double. It's too much. I will never. I only ever get double cheeseburgers from In and Out and McDonald's. Yeah. I don't go to McDonald's very often at all. I don't go to In and Out that often, but I go more often than McDonald's. McDonald's is, is just like a tour food. Not food, really. It's a toy. It's a food product. Food toy. But uh, in and outs real food. And that's the bomb as fuck. They never... There's no freezers in there. In McDonald's? Or in in and out No. No. There's no freezers in the fucking kitchen. No. That shit don't, they don't freeze that shit. No. No you know, I, I, got, I, I even have my own problems with eating meat and stuff, you know? And eventually I would like to work up being vegan and, uh, or at least vegetarian again as like a general way of practice, though I would never leave myself as anything. Uh... So, it's like you you can live up the standards and not have to say you're a certain thing. And also, like if I'm gonna be in France and they're gonna offer me this like crazy like thing, I can only try that like one time. Like I'm gonna eat it, bro. You know what I mean? Sorry, I got to. I got to experience stuff. I grew up in fucking Section Eight. I, I want to try it all, bro. I didn't get fat till I got with my, my own food and EBG card because I never had fucking that much food as a kid. I was like, oh my god, what is all this food? My mom also, I love my mom. I have Mother's Day coming up, but my mom's a horrible cook. She's shit. Me and my grandma were talking shit to her face about it the last time I saw her at Thanksgiving. She's like, oh, yeah. I know. She's like, I know, I tried my best. What? That's right, Carlo did meet, meet, uh, fucking J-Bone. Yeah. 
Vegas. That's right. My cousin came and met us up and we party hard as fuck. Here's the thing with McDonald's. You have to, have to, have to drink Coca-Cola with it. I don't even drink soda that much, ever. Hardly ever. The only thing I drink is like Topo Chico, like mineral water. Uh, but the Coca-Cola is like, you know how it's like they'll pour it on gas and guys like you'll pour it on engines? I like yeah. my co-host. He's like my, uh, what is it, my Andy Richter? Yeah, I'm like uh, the Andy Richter. You know how the, they'll, uh, pull the Coca they'll, pour, they'll pour the Coca-Cola on the engine to like clean it out? Or they'll, like, they'll even put it in like drains to like do well, Drano? Well, it's like, it, it'll, yeah, it, it, Coca-Cola has enough acidity to like take like rust off shit. That's the only way that that gruel of McDonald's that you can put in your stomach can like get broken down into a way that your body can shit it out. You have to drink the McDonald's bus. Uh, Coca-Cola with it. Jimmy's here. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Should we play the? I still have had fat burger. We should play the intro again. Okay, so uh, yeah, I'll read these comments real quick. I still never had fat burger. Can you believe that? We gotta go. I know. We just gotta go. It's like, gotta, I know. I, I heard I'm really gonna like that one. Me and Carlo went like a month ago. You had burgers and lobsters. What is that? Yeah, Donald's fucked up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's, only, it's like <laughs> every only once in a while. I like Wendy's more than like McDonald's for sure. But Wendy's is like the least consistent. Yeah, so here's the thing. I think top of the list, like pretty much like, dude, like, like 499 times out of 500, in and out is going to be exactly how you had it before. Like, it's just all, it's the most consistent. That's the highest consistency for burger fast food places. Like, it's going to be great every time. Uh, lowest, uh, like, dude, Wendy's can be the best thing you've ever had or the worst fucking thing you've ever had. Worse in your life. than, worse than, worse, worse than, than worse. Yeah. Worse than the worst thing you've ever had. It worst, really fucking depends, The man. worst fast food experience I ever had was at Wendy's. Remember that Wendy's in Jacksonville? Oh, my God. Oh, Jim, all Jimmy that is you read my mind. Jimmy said, the best burger is Dick. <laughs> I really like Dick's burger. It's dope. Yeah, Dick's is the best, bro. Oh, uh, Bree says, I like mixing strawberry fruitopia and iced tea. Remember the fruitopia commercials? Carly said, do you have A&W down there? Yes, but it's not like Canadian A&W. Oh yeah, Tejal Boon lives in Singapore, so their McDonald's menu is like, wild. Oh like, yeah, they have like shrimp. Yeah, he yeah, has McSpicy. Yeah, the uh, a McDonald's burger with jalapeno reds with relish and garlic aioli. Damn, that sounds fucking sick. Double single is the move. No, I do double double, baby. I'm sorry, dog. Isaac and Carlo are double singles. Yeah, I'm, a double I'm not going to say anything about your lactose intolerance. <laughs> I, I have it too, but I just deal with it. Deal with it. Yeah, for me it's weird because like sometimes it'll hit really hard, but sometimes it won't hit that hard. It really depends. How much water you drink? Yeah. A and W is amazing in Canada. It's not the same here. No, A and W in America is whack as fuck. It's whack. Ignore it. They do have cheese curds though, which is pretty. Sweet. But A and W in Canada, oh my god. Yeah, I even fuck with uh, A and W poutine super hard. When we were in Canada last time, you didn't. All we I did. I feel like that's all we ate. All we ate was A and W. Like fuck it. Let's that little again. burger they have. And then some poutine. It was like that's it. That's it. That's 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 a meal. Yeah, dude. The the, the uh, double Dell from Del Taco, crazy good. They have them going right now for like two for five ninety nine. So if you're a homie, Five Guys is cool. I'm not crazy about it, but I like it too. I'm not crazy about Five Guys. Yeah, you're from Maine. Oh my god, you got lobsters, bro. Yeah, you lobster roll, dog. Del Taco Burger, yeah, Jimmy loves Taco Burgers. I just had Chick-fil-A for the first time a few months ago, and it was fire. Chick-fil-A is bomb as hell. I fuck with Chick-fil-A. Jimmy, we gotta go to the original Del Taco at Barstow. They have the, uh... Taco Burger. Taco Burger. Like the ground beef, taco... Taco thing. Uh, Colin's right, I love having it. Having Burger shit, because I love Charbroil. Yeah, there's one, and you love that burger, though. Yeah. I love it, because in the international terminal at LAX, they have a habit. So I usually, if I'm hungry at the flight, we have time, I'll get a habit burger. There's a habit in Echo Park. I like to have it. Right on sunset nice. there. Chick Fil A is amazing. Yeah, I fuck with Chick Fil A. A big much. time, big Chick, big Chick Fil A fan. Chick Fil A sauce. Oh my god. My jam at Chick Fil A is the not spicy regular chicken sandwich, um, and honey. I put honey on it. Fuck. Holy shit. Take me to fucking blow my brains out with that one. Dude. Also, nobody's mentioned yet, but I fucking really, really heavily fuck with Culver's. Culver's is sick. The butter burger. I like uh um, butter burger with cheese curds and the root beer, because they make their own root beer. That's it, man. Butter burger, cheese curds, and root beer. Oh boy, that's a hangover meal. Like Five Guys to me is like a, a hot fucking mess every yeah. time. Yeah. It just too, makes me feel sleepy. It's you know too, what it's, it's not burgers, it's tight, but I only had the one time and I was just like, I'm ready to go. 
Huh. The skyline, dude. Skyline's good. I fucking love that cinnamon, cinnamon ass chili. Yeah. With the spaghetti Could and that tell? fucking buffalo chicken dip they had when we were in Indiana or whatever. Did you go with Jimmy? That was with Jimmy, right? It wasn't human yet. No, it was, it was with Jimmy, Jimmy. I think. Fuck, we were so hungover when we went there too. It was almost hard. It was like hard almost to eat. hard to eat. Because <laughs> we raged in Fort Wayne. Yeah, we raged pretty. Shout long. out Jared Andrews. Shout out Jared Andrews. And shout out Wetface, homies. I wonder where they're at. Uh, I told, uh, maybe I forgot to tell the homie. It was so sick when we played in Fort Wayne because it was like after GTG and it was like finally getting to meet all those fools. That was a cracking ass show. That show was cracking. That was like, that was a contender for the best show of that tour. Uh, Fort Wayne? Yeah. Yeah, Dwiggins came down, right? <coughs> That's right. The, uh, the biggest letdown tour was Montreal. Montreal was a bummer. Montreal was a bummer in a lot of respects. Uh, I love that city, and usually we have a great, great, great time. Actually, one of my favorite shows I've ever played was in Montreal. But it was just a bad time. There, everybody was at festivals that weekend, remember? That's right. There was like three. Everyone was away that weekend. Every single. Well, in Canada, dude, like, cause, you know, I spent a month there in Toronto 2018, summer 2018. And, dude, like, everybody's either going to, like, some festival or some, they go to a cottage. Everybody's going to cottages. So some shit I never heard of over here ever. It's like some like weird Canadian Eng- like from England shit cottage. But fools always have these cottages out in the middle of fucking nowhere. Everybody's going to cottages. They're going to a fucking festival every weekend in Canada. That's what it seemed like. Am I right? Canadians out there, Bree, Carly, is that a- a- astute observation? Hey, should we play another some other music? Maybe we could play Funkle or Pies. Uh. Um, Pop Isaac. Yeah, play Hip-Hop Isaac. Hip-Hop. hip hip Isaac. hip Yeah, the cottage thing. When I was like, what, what the fuck's a cottage? A cottage is kind of like a... It's like a cabin that's not made of logs. Right. <laughs> okay. I, 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 I like that. I like that. Yeah, right? Oh, he mentioned Candace was the other weird show, too. Yeah. Kansas, uh, Lawrence, Kansas. Oh, yeah, Lawrence was pretty. <coughs> pretty bleak. But, uh. So, wait, Chicago was cool? Chicago was alright. Chicago was fun. We played at that little tiny The Growlers there. were in town too that night. Remember, they were trying to meet up, but it was just like the city was cracking that night because it was like a Saturday or something. Did I play with James Swanberg? We had, a good, we had a good night. We had a great night, actually. We went and then we met up with, uh. Met up with Alex at Cole's. And then, yeah, oh, yeah. pretty hard. It's cool. But the town that I'm living in is was it Kentucky? We didn't go to Kentucky. The best show, my favorite show was Milwaukee, hands down. Yeah, usually. I actually now, um, the uh, got Platinum Boys, shout out Platinum Boys in Milwaukee. Maddie and Casey uh, and me and Isaac are all in this group called Ultimate Men. And uh, that's how much I just enjoy being around those guys and the whole vibe in Milwaukee was I just had to stay in contact with them. So I like, I'm on like a mean group with them where we literally talk every day. And like, as soon as they let us travel, do shit again, I'm gonna go to Milwaukee. If they, if they let us do anything this summer at all, I wanna go to Milwaukee and fucking rage on those boys so bad. They fucking party hard though. Dude, that was the craziest fucking party. There's a Green Bay Packers opening night party at a dive bar that all of them fucking worked at. Uh, I remember that the Coke dealer sold out of Coke before the game even started. Um, there was trays of the two gigantic platter catering size trays brought in by the, the owner makes the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had in my life. Just period. I was so into it. And then there was like, what, how, like 10 pizzas? At least? At least. And then like four or five racks, racks of, uh, mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. It was fucking good, man. And you know, you know how those fools up there uh, fuck with cheese. They fuck with cheese super hard. So this ain't no like. They literally had a pizza with macaroni and cheese on the pizza too. There was definitely. I had one of those. Me pizzas. too. I had to. I had to. Yeah, I didn't know. There was. Uh, I just went for it. I remember doing like like snorting ecstasy in the bath in the bathroom. That was a crazy night. That's tight. I didn't do any ecstasy. That night. I did. I had cocaine, cocaine and ecstasy. I was gonna say, yeah, I did a lot of Guys, I want to talk to you guys openly about my drug use. Uh, I don't do it that often, but I do drugs. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. Not yeah, very not? often, but I do drugs, and most of them. Um, though I'm not down for heroin, and I'm not down for meth anymore. <laughs> meth is too much, man. 
I feel like you were never down for meth. It's just that it comes up sometimes. I've definitely I've done meth a lot of times. Uh, yeah, no, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like meth. Uh, uh, yeah. Jeez, Isaac can't eat cheese. I can eat whatever the fuck I want. It's just a, uh, you know, it's a give and take. It's a, what am I willing to sacrifice for for the enjoyment of eating that cheese? That's kind of how, how I feel with alcohol and drugs, too. Yeah, you gotta, like, like, you gotta plan how you're gonna feel it's after. It's like, I know, I know what's gonna happen if I get drunk all night and fucking real lines of blow. Like, I know what's gonna happen. And, um, you know, if I can accept the next day before all that, then yeah, I'm fucking down. You know, but it, it's a give and take. Yeah, my favorite drugs are mushrooms, and, and then the, the best drug of all time that has ever been consumed by humans, in my opinion, is the wonderful, holy, great DMT. The wonder, the wonder dog particle. I have big love for acid too. Um, though the, uh, the trip trip length is a little testing for my ADD. But I like DMT so much. Uh, and mushrooms are just the great. I'll, my thing with mushrooms is you can just like keep nibbling on them all night. Yeah, I feel like with acid sometimes it's like sometimes you'll forget your breakthroughs because you've been on this long. Yeah, we talk about this is something we talk about a lot in Isaac and the guys. It's like with DMT. You can have this amazing, crazy experience, and then you, it's so short you actually remember it all, or most of it. But the acid, you'll be having like all these amazing epiphanies, like, man, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Wow, this is how I feel about that. But then there's six more hours of that, so you're just like, fuck, I keep forgetting all the sick shit I just remembered and thought yeah. was so sick. Like, yeah. it's just so, it's like a fucking deluge of just fucking cosmic thought. So you're just like, whoa, this is amazing. Nice. You keep like, keep forgetting. That was tight. A deluge of cosmic <laughs> thought. Graham Hancock over here, dude. I fucking Go. love that shit, bro. Go. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, Existence so is crazy. Said, are, Isaac, are you doing most of the production on this Hip Hop Isaac? Yes, actually. On the Hip Hop Isaac record, I produced all the tracks except First Hit, which is the first song. Ricky produced, Ricky and, and, and Lucas, Heaven the Dude, uh, produced that one. And then Thank You, which is the last song on the record, Danielle, Lil Nicky, uh, produced that one. Um, and then Lucas helped me out on a couple of the other ones, but um, not, I wouldn't like say he produced them. But yeah, uh, for the most part, I, I, I did all the beats. I was, that was kind of part of the fun. Yeah, mushrooms, I mean, that's the part of the fun with doing psychedelics, so always be like, I'm locked in. It's like you have to watch. You have, it's not even watching the movie. It's like you are the movie now, and you gotta play it out. <laughs> Carlin, Carlin said DMT with whippets on ketamine. <laughs> oh man, that sounds fucking like too much for me. I remember uh, with Colin doing KBDRWs. K what is that? KBDB. KBDRWs. KBDRWs. It's key bump, dab rig, whip it. <laughs> I remember I was so I was so hungover in San Francisco, and that that era in San Francisco, dude. No, it was, wasn't that? No, oh, that was a uh, Bergamo, right? Or no, this is San Francisco. Boogaloo. No, it's just San Francisco. It's just time we were this in San Francisco. It was one of those times I was about to talk about when like all of our homies worked at like the makeout room, Latin American, whatever phone booth, all those fucking bars, and we would just be walking up and down the mission all night. Going bar to bar to bar to bar, and everybody would just get us free drinks. I mean, you literally have to like drag each other down the street. Yeah, KBDRW, bro. KBDR, KBDRW is what we did at 10 a.m. 10 a.m. 10 a.m. You know, like, okay, key bump, dab rig, whip it, all in one go. You're doing like key bump, okay, hit the dab, now do a whip it, all in one fucking. It's like the craziest shotgun or strikeout you've ever imagined, and that shit it cured my hangover. I felt great the rest of the day. I uh, can't lie. Yeah, those were good ass times, man. That was the era. That was like the golden days. That was like peak youth. Uh, not a care in the world. Kind of broke, but like all homies around. It's a lot of whom weren't broke. Um, and just having a good time and, and listening to music, playing shows, and just going out all the time and just being young. Cherish those memories. Beautiful times, man. Beautiful times. Smoked out ass food. Hell yeah, dog. <clears throat> KBDRW. I was like, he's like, Paul's like, we're doing KBDRW. Like, what the fuck? I kind of just want to get a burrito from out, from a burrito. 
but no, we were in the we were in the hate, so there ain't no Fairlito over there. They're actually, I remember that kind of being like getting food in the hate was kind of like a bitch. Had that McDonald's right there. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> That's right by the, the park, right? That Golden Gate Park. The Golden Gate Park right there. Oh. Yeah. Dolores Park. Remember we actually used. Remember when we would actually used to go kick it at Dolores Park. Yeah. We just go get like a case of beer, some weed, and just go sit in the park for like a few hours before the show, and then like walk to the show. And yeah, good times, dude. Good times. Grateful for grateful to be here. Grateful for this life and the chance to live it for as long as I can. Careful about clapping and stuff. Okay. You're not. Oh, I think you're. Uh, I took you. Uh, you seriously. That uh, great that you thought. I think you're like you're a grandma now. I was like, wait, she has a kid. And your kid had a kid. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck. KBDRW. <laughs> <laughs> At 10 a.m. Hung over. At 10 a.m. hung over, now you know what I'm doing? Go turn it over, go back to sleep on the other side. Fucking not doing that. Shit. Those were sick times, though, man. San Francisco, that was my town. Being from Portland, Oregon, you know, it was like that was the closest big city to us had Seattle. And then being from Portland, you're like, fuck Seattle. Yeah. And like, now I love Seattle because a lot of different reasons. Uh, it's kind of like, because I don't like, whenever I go back to Portland, I'm not like crazy about it because it's just like, just like in this weird zone now where it's like, I don't want to be a small town anymore, but it can't really be a city. And it's just set up. It's just like, there's downtown and then it's just all burbs. Now they're trying to put all these condos and shit in there and it's just like, um, it's just not, but like going to Seattle, it's like, now this is a Northwest city. Here's a Northwest. And here's like a city. Real deal, Cause I'm just used to, I live in LA now and I've been here for coming on seven years and I'm just not yeah it's just like I don't get weird we're like I don't know I like being in cities I like being in small towns too but only if I know I'm gonna be there for a little while I mean I, as I will tell you too I mean I fantasize about moving to the country all the time yeah. I'm gonna be one of those fools we'll end up yeah I'm gonna end up out there I, th I don't know where I think like probably like Northern California Maybe Europe. I really have this weird feeling I'm gonna end up living in Europe. That's why I'm probably gonna die. I wonder. I don't know. I can see it go a lot of different ways. I don't really have any plans to leave it L LA. I love it here so much. I like my life here. But also, I get like I'm like a weird person. I'm pretty spontaneous. Even though I, I, I'm like also pretty routine. Like I, I'm, I'm spontaneous. Spontaneous in the way where I can get down. I can get. I can get down with a spontaneous crazy, huge, spontaneous decision, like, we'll do it that day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, things like, we're in the store, like, we're building a wall. Things like that, you know? It's like, okay. Like, a whole huge undertaking, we're starting today. Things like that. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't like Portland much anymore, man. I love Super Deluxe, though. That is a good-ass place to eat. That's a good place. I like here in LA, man. Burger Town. We've got the best cheeseburgers here. We've got the best weed. And like, you know, we got a lot of like people like to clown on us for our fucking bougie people and our crime you know, and skid like, row and shit, but it's like I it, feel like the biggest misconception about Los Angeles is that that it's not a working class town. And it is. There's lots of like good working class people here. You know, it's not all bougie ass Hollywood. All those people don't even live in it. They live in West the West Side. Yeah, they live in Calvary. Sherman Oaks. So, you know, that's just like one of those things, like like, when people talk shit about LA, it's like, you don't fucking know. No. You know? I don't even know. And I've lived here for fucking almost seven years. Uh, all right, why don't why don't I surf, Rabbit Wookie? Okay. <laughs> I can tell, I can answer. Six, yeah. six letters. S. H. A. R. K. S. <laughs> I'm a Pisces, and I'm scared as fuck of fish, bro. Like, like, I cannot, even just the, just knowing there's sharks in the ocean. It's enough for me to not swim in there sometimes. I know, dude. It's like irrational. I know, but it's just like I. And even in like, I just don't fuck with creatures in the water, bro. Like the only thing I could fuck with is like a manatee, and that even that would be like. That's still scary. It's still scary. It's too big. It's too big, dog. Also in Oregon, like when I found out as a kid, I would love to swim in the rivers, and my grandma would be like, you know, there's sturgeons in there. Like you talking about how you don't like big fish. 
And sturgeons get like 20 fucking feet long. And they're like as big as, big as round as a shark. And I was just like, I can't even deal with that, that fact. I can't, dude. Yeah, well, we I can literally put a spider in my mouth and let it like walk around my tongue. And like, like, but I, sharks and like animals in the water. No, no, dude. No. And even with dogs, like I got hospitalized as a, as a teenager when this Rottweiler tore my arm open to this fucking, my dad, my skin, my dad's skinhead friend's house. And it fucking ripped my arm open. And, uh... I'm like less scared of dogs than I was fucking that day. Like the next, I, I'm like I'm not really scared of animals all that much. I, I, I except <laughs> my friend Katie will tell you one time when we were camping together with the sequoias, we were walking in the trail, and like when we got to the campground, the uh, the camp the park ranger lady was like, "Have you seen any bears yet?" We we're like, "Nah, yeah," and they're like, "Oh, you're gonna just here's what you do." It gives a whole little, sh- little shakedown rundown thing of like what we do. When we see a bear. And you know what happened when I saw a bear? I didn't do any. I did exactly what you're not supposed to do. I just fucking ran away. <laughs> I started like, Katie, let's go!" <laughs> like fucking bailed. It was a huge ass bear in a ditch, eating, tearing up a log. It was like tearing up this log. It's crazy. Yeah, I like lakes, but also it's like there's lake monsters too. When, uh, when I was in the Philippines with my dad, we, we were going to go to this spot. He was like, yeah, we, we can swim with the whales there. Do you want to swim with the whales? I was like, uh, no. hell no. What the fuck are you talking about? I like, no, that's safe. They do it all the time. I was like, that's fine and all, you know? You go. <laughs> you go swim. I'll, I'll take some pictures of you on the boat. I'm not, no, I can't get in the water with a whale. I'm not going in there. And these were like, so, so, just like a weird aside. So in the Philippines, there's... The place my dad wanted to take me is like a natural migration route that the whales take every year. So we just happen to be like in this zone where they where they where they naturally will come every year. But there's this other place in the Philippines um, we didn't go to, but but they have swimming with the whales there. But the whales learned that 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 the trainers and the tourist people will, will feed them, so they just chill there to get to get food. You know what I mean? It's not like uh, they've kind of turned into uh, an attraction. You know what I mean? So it's kind of fucked up, but... You know, I'm gonna do it here too, talk about the swimming thing. I also, I've only one or two times in my entire life I've ever swam in the ocean where I wasn't touching the ground. That's... I, I could not swim in the ocean. I've only done it one time that I can remember, and it was from 2008 in Cupertino. And we just pulled, we were on tour with uh, friends of ours who were like... You know, almost twice our age, these guys who taught us everything, Rob Walmart, coolest fucking band ever. And we were just like, we would often just pull over when we would want to swim. It was an awesome way to tour. Um, you can't tour like that when you're hungover and sleeping in. It's like, that's that, that, that kind of fun touring comes from like getting up in the morning. And you can make a bunch of stops. But also touring California helps. When we swam Cupertino, it was so mellow. I remember sunset, it was super warm, the water was nice, just floating there, and I, I was like, I can do this. But like lakes, I can swim across a whole lake. I'm a pretty good swimmer, pretty strong swimmer. Uh, even as chunky as I am, I, I can swim real good. And uh, yeah, I love swimming in lakes. I love that free feeling of like floating there. My favorite place to swim in the entire world is, uh, the, Le- is uh, the River Lette in Zurich, Switzerland, um, where they use, they like, created this like artificial river out of the real river they like diverted the water to like this crazy strong stream that's like super deep and uh it's just like the most beautiful people like all hanging out smoking weed and drinking and eating all on this like year euro super euro style like there's like docks you swim up to with like little bathrooms and cafes and shit it's like all a river it's so sick dude i can't even believe it i can't jump up i can't do jumping though Actually, speaking of Latin, last time we were there, everybody jumped off the bridge, and I didn't. I, could, I stood up there, and I went, and I stood there, and I said no. I got back down. They're like, what, you're already up there, just jump. I was like, yeah. Nah. Not gonna do that. Carly says, they said there's an actual monster in the lake in my town. What? What's his goddamn name? Yeah, I'll do anything something. Yeah, seaweed's scary as fuck. But otters fighting? Man. I don't know anybody who has Rona. I knew somebody right at the beginning of the quarantine who lived on the other side of the city who had it for a couple weeks and she said it sucked. 
and then I knew some people in New York that had it, uh, and they said it sucked. I don't know. They came to LA really, really early. Uh, the first deaths in America were here in California, uh, so I don't know. It's like hard to tell who, who got it, who didn't. But we've been we've been isolating and being really, really uh, OCD about everything. Same number, yeah, that sucks. Hal Boone. Hell yeah, you ordered pizza, Zoe? Nice. What kind of pizza? You got to eat. You can't, Zoe, hey. All right, there's a new, there's a rule. I don't like to be about rules or anything, but if you're going to mention pizza, you got to mention the toppings, dog. You got to tell us the toppings. I want to know. I want to know. It's like, me and this girl went out. We had a good time. It's like, what? Did you kiss? I want to know, did you kiss? What's on the pizza? I guess the pizza is more important than knowing if they kiss. Actually, I don't really care. Because I, you know, I respect people who don't kiss and tell, actually. I'm going to retract that. I'm going to retract that fully. I actually just want to know what's on the pizza. I don't care who kiss. I just want to know what's on the pizza. So what's on the pizza? I like pepperoni and jalapeno. But number one. I also love... I know you guys are going to hate this. I love pineapple jalapeno pizza. Pineapple jalapeno. That's sweet and that's spicy, baby. I'm crazy for... I love pineapple on pizza. I fucking yeah. no, but I'm just saying. I love, buffalo chicken pizza is my shit, dude. In New York, there's a spot by Funko Studio across the street. They got bomb ass fucking uh, buffalo chicken pizza. Oh my god, my mouth is watering right now. I've been thinking about this shit. Zoe, you're driving me crazy here. Now tell me what this pizza is, dog. Oh my god. Okay, one cheese with half pepperoni and one with garlic sauce and peppers and onions. Oh, garlic sauce. <laughs> I like onions. I like onions on pizza. I, I think love it's a very onions. underrated. Uh, I think it's the best. It's the best vegetable. I think uh, sausage onion. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, perfect yeah. pizza. Oh yeah. Perfect pizza. That was, our pizza for a while. that was our pizza for a while, and then you dip it in barbecue sauce. Yeah. So <laughs> good. It's seriously so good. Yeah. Like marinara, just regular red sauce with pal with, with sausage and onion, and then you dip it in, instead of ranch, you dip it in barbecue. That shit is fucking fire. Yeah, pineapple jalapeno dog. I ain't afraid. Yeah, Bree says, I think any ingredient belongs on pizza. Uh, you know, I'm not going to be mad, but there's things I won't do. We were in Australia and this full of honey and, and walnuts on this pizza, and I said, nah, dog. Walnuts? Yeah. They had walnuts and honey on that one pizza when we were in Melbourne or oh, Sydney or whatever. Right. It was maybe Melbourne. Pineapple buffalo chicken? Nice. That sounds like a sick pizza. That sounds good. Yeah. I like, I mean, I like, uh... I like sweet and spice. I like sweet and savory together. I love, like, teriyaki burgers with the pineapple slice yeah. and the teriyaki sauce. I like shit like that. You watch Dark on Netflix? No, I've been wanting to watch Dark. It's like a German horror thing. It looks awesome. I have it on my list. Classic cheese pizza. All you need sometimes. I absolutely agree, man. I totally agree. With the little pepper flakes on if it. I'm I, in New York. I don't really get pizza like. And you, they don't call it cheese. They call it plain. Regular, regular. A regular. Can I get a regular or a plain? And it's just like yeah. cheese pizza. Yeah. Regular cheese pizza. Regular, because that's like what people get there. A lot of the time, they're just getting cheese pizza. Sorry. Cherry Coke is sick, bro. I fucking love Cherry Coke. I like Cherry Coke. Sorry. That's the best. That's the best Coke. Even to me, even better than the original Coke. Mushroom is a no-no for calling. Interesting. I love mushrooms on pizza, dude. I can eat just a mushroom pizza. Like, straight up. I love that. I love cream of mushroom, too. I just love mushrooms. Peppers, greens, or reds. Love them. Yep. Me, too. I love it. I love a supreme pizza. Frozen pizza. Uh, a frozen pizza, the best is supreme. That would be sick to get. I gotta use the bathroom for it. One of those, like... Nice. Oh, yeah. Right up there, you know, in your mouth. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I need to buy a couple of mics. Oh, okay, let's check out my uh, my new scene that I made for when Ricky's gone. Now it's, now it's me in the screen. In the screen with him. In the screen. What's up? I, I should put, like, my name underneath um, there somewhere. But, um, yeah, it was good. It sounds good now, I think. Um, I'm slowly, uh, I'm slowly working out the OBS, OBS business right now. I'm looking into a couple different things. Vanilla Coke, um, I was like super into Vanilla Coke when it first came out, but, ooh, controversial, uh, comment here. Uh, lasagna is greater than pizza. I would, I would pick lasagna any day of the week over pizza. 
all day, every day. Um, I like pizza. I think pizza is sick. But I'm never like, uh, I never say I want to eat pizza. I don't really ever say that. I haven't had a Coke in a while. I was trying to cut down on all that shit, um, but Steel bought a rack of, uh, rack of Cokes. And it was sick. I love Coke. And actually, way controversial right here, I like, uh, regular American high fructose corn syrup Coke way more than the Mexican, uh, cane sugar, your cane sugar Coke. Uh, there's, there's just a little more bite, a little more bite, uh, to the American I really, 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 really like. uh, I could eat pizza every day, but I couldn't eat lasagna every day. Yeah, for sure. I feel you on that. But I could eat lasagna every day. <clears throat> uh, it's, a, it's more of a utilitarian food, for sure. You know. I don't know. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't know. I don't know. But... Isaac, what do I think of banana ketchup? I'm alright with banana ketchup. I don't like use ketchup normally that much. Anyways, other than like, uh, french fries. <laughs> Shut up, Carl. <laughs> um, so, I mean, but I like the banana ketchup. I think the banana ketchup on some fried chicken is pretty good. Um, yeah, so, I, I like banana, banana ketchup, so, okay, so banana ketchup, I grew up with it, um, some Filipino, and my mom likes that stuff, and I imagine you can find it all throughout Southeast Asia, but it's basically ketchup with, like, banana flavor, so it's kind of like a sweet, um, a sweet, let's see, let me, maybe I can pull a picture of it, uh, what? Oh, I love banana ketchup. Banana ketchup. Uh, Jufron. Jufron is the brand. Uh, oh, yeah. I got a Jufron. Uh, like, name is Ben Casper. <laughs> Here, here's the photo right here. I'll put it up on the display real quick, and then we'll go back to the okay, So that, that is the uh, the Jufron, the Jufron banana sauce. It's not even ketchup. Um, like I said, I don't really use ketchup with 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 everything, with most things. Like I don't really only use ketchup with uh with. French fries. But other than that, I don't really fucking. So I'm gonna say this, because uh, I was upstairs. I'm on the team lasagna here, uh, over pizza. Um, I can eat lasagna every day over pizza. Uh, <laughs> I actually these days, I think my pizza days, my, my pizza days are kind of behind me. Like, I like, I very pizzas are like a very specific vibe now for me. Not an everyday thing. I can't do that. Uh, lasagna though. You know also who makes a bomb, 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 bomb. The best frozen lasagna is Costco. Costco's frozen lasagna is like, just treasure -ish. It's a treasure, it's delicious, precious candy. I can eat that shit every day. Uh, let me address Rabbit Bookie really quick. How do you do your vocal and garage band? They sound trippy. It's not going through garage band. Actually, the only effects I have are, are um, um, native effects to OBS, so the deep, like the, the standard default uh, presets on OBS. I'm just using compression, a little noise compression, but we are using a really, really nice mic for Ricky's vocals. Um, I want to get like a boom stand so we can put it closer to his mouth, um, but it's a very nice mic, and, and we just got it. I just, yeah. I'm not really like doing much to it. I did figure out a solution to like actually run proper effects through Logic to get the vocals to come out on this end. I figured that out, but um, I don't feel like we need all that for, for this right now. No. Also, I guess for my on my end, I use GarageBand for recording, but I don't use, I use an amp. I go through an amp for my vocals. I kind of just use it to do the recording. Yeah, I use it like, a, I, I, I do all my effects first for the yeah, most part. Yeah, which is like the one of the, I, I always feel like that's the right way to do it. Yeah. You want to like figure as much out beforehand. Yeah. Like it's better to it's better to just sort all that before than try to do everything. Like it'll yeah, never, it'll that, never end in post. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's just like it's you're just like you're just kind of gambling that way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so yeah, so that's that's the uh, the the vocals thing. 
I just made another screw, uh, screwdriver spritz. I gotta think of a name for that. My own little name for it. Oh, the uh, tricky Rick. <laughs> yeah, I'll roll it up. Did you see my cool, uh, my cool when you're away screen? Check this out. Are you making a drink or doing something? You know what I mean? Just hanging out. And now we're back. Oh yeah, you know we used also we used to have the names underneath us. We used to have names, name tags underneath our faces. Mm. Do that. Yeah. I need to just get jobs. I've been doing everything on YouTube. Yeah. And it's it works fine. Just uh. It's just not very uh, user friendly. I'd love to get both shots. They have the phone. There's some sort of thing because if you get like, we'll be working on their iPads. Zoe, you said you want manicotti, but yet you got pizza. You know, I got right here. Check it out. I have it before you guys came, but there's a burrito. That, one. <laughs> that was clutch. Huh? That looked like, sick. It came out of nowhere. <laughs> you had no idea it was there the whole time, fool. <laughs> yeah, we out here. We out here. Mm. That's another great thing about LA. You can't really get a bad burrito anywhere. Mm -hmm. that, uh, Jimmy said he did. I've had a bad I've had bad, I definitely had bad California burrito. I've had bad. Yeah, because they can fuck up the fries really bad. It's just like, you know, like, like with all the good, there has to be just as much bad or mediocre. I'll tell you, uh, Rav Lucky, I like the Flaming Groovies all right. I feel like I've played a festival with them once or twice, but never watched them. Not really a rocker. Never really been a rocker. I like rock music a lot. If, to be honest with you, I'm like a folk guy, and I kind of view everything in music through like a folk lens. Yeah. And uh, including like punk and world music, and even rap to a certain extent. And I'm also a big rap guy. I like I'll tell you that too. Yeah. I'm like I'm into folk and I'm into rap. And like I love rock music because I was a punk when I was a kid, but I was also a weird punk where I was like I was into Weird Al and like Pink Floyd and Minutemen. I wore like a bowling shirt. And like the other punks in my school had like GBH shirts and like addicts hair and like butt butt flap back patches. Yeah, my homies. They in didn't high understand school, me. They didn't get me at all. My homies at, in high school who were all that shit. Now they're all like drunk. Yeah, exactly. And then by the by the time I mean, that was like middle school actually by in eighth grade at, like when I went to the Misfits and they, uh, Jerry only made fun of my Pink Floyd pin in front of everybody. When I was just there to meet Jerry only. That's so or I was, not there, I was just there to meet Marky Ramone and Dad's from Black Flag. Oh, so I fucking love Black Flag. That was another thing too about punk. Why I got so into punk because I was really into Discord records and I was really into SST records and I thought it was just really cool. It was the first time I'd ever anybody had ever presented to me in any context that people ran their own record labels and like them and their friends. Like Discord and SST was like a bunch of bands and they all like were kind of. I thought that was really fascinating. And then I kind of just like went from there pretty hard. Yeah. You know? But also at the same time, uh, I hate most folk folk music that's now uh i like really really like my ultimate like of anybody who's been around the last like 20 years is uh, kyle field little wings he's like top 10 favorite bands of all time for me but i'm like more like i love michael hurley and i love just like old shit and i guess like when i say folk music i also mean like world music and just like i kind of when i mean folk music i kind of mean it more in like a like a societal way, like, like necessarily people, a, a like musical a, genre, like, like a people's movement. Yeah, like I just I like, I like people music, uh, but I also I have a Britney Spears poster on my wall, so I don't know. I'm kind of just rattling off here, but um, yeah, I've always been like I feel like I've always been like a hip hop, hip hop, rap thing. Like I've always kind of approached making music that way too and i don't know i was just like too maybe when i was younger i was a little too like uh scared or like hesitant to 
I want to make rap music. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've me always too. had this really high like respect for. I mean, but I've always been doing it, but yeah. like it was always like kind of like a joke, like you say. Like I kind of was never like brave enough to like actually to actually just be like I'm actually gonna make. But it. I'm not though. I wouldn't never be. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make a great rap. I mean, I, like I wouldn't. I'm not like, like that's not like what I like. What I look for in rap is like pretty broad, but it's like I'm not really into like. I don't think I'd be into me as a, as a rapper. And uh, I do rap stuff on my Freewee and shit, but it's like, Freewee's just kind of like back a little bit. Run. Which is like, I like beats and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, like, I like pop. I'm like kind of a pop guy too. All right. I feel like all my shit, like I came up on punk stuff, but like, I don't know. So this is a weird internet generation where it's like, <coughs> I had Rhapsody music on my stepdad's computer, and so I just was like listening to all kinds of shit. <coughs> I would, like, City, damn. Yeah, I would go to school and they have my like iRiver MP3 player. Yeah, how many songs? Fuck, and like I could fit like twenty or something. <laughs> or maybe like a hundred. Dude, I used I would, to. But like, it'd be like it'd be like Public Enemy, Joy Division, yeah, Little Wings, Speed Happening, Violent Femmes. I got my Neutral first, Milk Hotel. I got my first iPod made. I was like a dude. Back when I was like a freshman, like sophomore, I would bring the CD player. I'd be wearing my dickies, and like the CD player can fit right there in, in the pocket of the dickies, and you know, I have my little mix CD that I made. Yeah. Like, I'd dive in and press a five. <laughs> Dude, I've had fucking uh, you baby MCs drink Pedialyte, like it's like my ground does I like to be the, the media mites. It's like my head for like three days, dude. <laughs> I that mean, Jurassic 5 record when that shit came out, yeah. I was all over that shit, dude. Quality I was, control. I loved it. And then Cut Chemist's solo record after that, I was super into that, too. It wasn't as good as that. Uh, EDMC's drink. Was it, uh, quality, what is it called? Quality control. Yeah, qual- quality control. Captivates, captivates your, your body, body and soul. soul. Yo, oh, yeah. Captivate. Captiv- oh. <laughs> quality control. Yeah, I love a lot of music. Same, man. Yeah, dude. Like I think I think me my ringtone is Fifty Cent. I think me and Ricky like can agree, and, and we're both on the same tip. Is we're like we love songs, man. Yeah, like, songs. It's about great I songs. Lo- I like zones too, though. Like, that too, yeah. There, there's so many different. Oh, I like just like ambient. I like mm-hmm. ambient music a lot too. Actually, I just you know, love music, and I like I can't. Uh, I love reggae, and I love dub. And I just I don't know. It's just like every day I'm like getting into like I'll be like into this like really hard. I'll like. Like the other day we were driving me and steel and I was like I was just like crank the Dvorak because it was on the radio so we're like let's just listen to classical music right now. And then I posted a picture of Anthony Dvorak on my Instagram story. So he was like, "Why Dvorak though?" I was yeah. like, "I was stoned listening to him." They were like, "Oh, he's from my country." I was like, "Yeah, he's Czech, bro." Yeah, yeah. I've been actually like it's not embarrassing, but like I've been really into the uh, the steeziest fuck YouTube channel who does twenty four seven live streams of. Uh, Lo-fi hip hop beats to study too. Beats to study and chill too. Fuck, I fuck with that shit so hard. Caesar's fucks channel is tight. It's just like zone out, you know. It's the same thing. It's like I just I, I like watching movies and I like I like the room and I like but I also love like there will be blood. Yeah. It's like I don't know and I love Step Brothers and I love Repo Man and I love Alien and Aliens and I love Coneheads. And, you know I love I love. Chris yeah. Farley, it's and, like and Talladega Nights, and Talia, and John King, and Spaceballs, and like I like all kinds of shits. Like I couldn't ever like that's the one thing for me is like I remember I'll never forget for some reason I was on Tinder like a year ago. And there was some like punky metally looking girl on there, and she was like, "I like people with discerning taste in music," and I was like, "I dislike people who have discerning tastes. I I don't discern tastes. I just want to like experience. I like it all, baby." Like, I, it's the same thing. It's like the only, it's like I, only food I don't like is sweet potatoes and roasted parsnips. You hate sweet potatoes. Oh my God. I just don't like, I'm like weird about starchy shit, man. I hate sweet potatoes, dude. And I don't like Mumford and Sons. And I don't really like care for Arcade Fire. It's funny when I say I'm like a folk guy because I really don't like any of that like weird neo-folk stuff at all. And I don't really listen to folk music all that much. It's like it kind of just more like, this is kind of a misnomer. Hell yeah, you listen to White Thing and Free Weed, baby. So I'm working on my new Free Weed album right now called Kitchen Window. And I... We should play one of the Free Weed records on the thing. I think it's my, it's, it's my best. That's definitely my best. I'm gonna play Self-recorded Tum- Free Weed I'm album. I'm going to play Tumbleweeds. So it's kind of like Tumbleweeds, but it's like way cleaner. And it's... Uh, it's um, oh, nice. I saw the text. Sick. Uh, it's way cleaner, and it's, the songs are longer. Like, Tumbleweeds is kind of like, the name comes from like how each song is kind of short, and they kind of just like roll past you. So they kind of like, 
And also, like, again, like, I come from the generation where, like, 30 second samples were, like, a big thing. And I'm also into, like, memes and, like, like short things, so it's, like, short songs. I remember, like, when I got into Minutemen and I got into Wire, Man Wire, that first Pink Flag album. Pink Flag, woo! Dude, I, you showed that to me, dude, and I was like, yeah, dude, dude, I was in high school, and that girl I had a crush on, like, all of high school, like, she was like, let's go, skip school. I'm like, hell yeah, let's go to the record store, I want to get the CD I've been really into, on Rhapsody Music. And we went there, I got Pink Flag, but why did I play it for her, and she wouldn't talk anymore. I was trying to, like, she, like, she was, like, kind of avoid but she didn't, like, she was, like, I bet she, she was, like, that music was just weird. She was, like, kind of screamo. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. We were, like, we were, we were, like, a soft, sophomore or something, you know, like, hate sweet potatoes but now I like sweet potatoes fries okay I can't man I can't you do even recently dude we were in New York and Maggie made this really nice stew but I could tell I just knew and then she was like fuck you knew it. she was like I tried to just like like put just a little bit and I mashed it up so you wouldn't notice it I was like I just like I, they know it's just like it's like when something shits in a room, it's like you can put it under the couch. It's really? You can sweep it anywhere you want, but I'm gonna smell it, dude. It's in there. It's 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 a very like distinct flavor. Like you it'll cut through like everything. Really well. But yeah, I remember um back in the day at Kim Jong Grillin', oh my god, they had the sweet potato tater tots. Yeah. Shit, that show was fun. Uh, Alright. Whoa, like Josh Harrison, what up, homie? What up, nigga dog? Yeah, the Queen is amazing, dude. You know, I saw the Queen one time in Portland at fucking uh, Holocene. One of my favorite shows I've ever seen in my life. It was so fucking cool. They were so good. They never play. And also the drummer Hamish. One day he hung out with us all day in New York. He played in there with my friend. He's been living in Brooklyn for years, and he was like totally in the memory. He gave me a solo record. Awesome. I fucking love the Queen. One of my biggest influences when it comes to like guitar, pop, music like that. Uh, no, I, I just love the Queen so fucking much. Uh, <laughs> Hell yeah. I love you, Colin. Not what I was gonna say. Here's your pride. Look at this fucking joint. I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, one more time. Shouting out Lofty Pursuits in Tallahassee, Florida. They didn't give me any uh thing. I actually had to pay for this, but they are uh T. Al Boone can attest to this. It's a really cool YouTube channel. They have this show how he makes candy in 1890s Victorian style, hard candy. And he was really cool. And it uses real natural flavors, and it's amazing. And I ordered some banana, and it was the best hard candy I've ever had. I'm gonna order like I'm gonna order like thirty, forty dollars more for the hard candy. Just keep shouting them out all the time. It's awesome, and it's so funny. I like hit him up after with me because I posted on my Instagram story, and they responded like thanks. And I was like, man, I was really looking forward to this. I had to wait like a month because of all the corona shit, like just the shit, like they had to change their whole policy, like way of making stuff, like in terms of keeping it safe and clean so they can like, they don't have to like give it like a resting period and all this shit. But like, I got it like a month after I ordered it. Uh, but I was like, man, it surpassed all expectations that I fucking had. And the dude's response like was, got... the dude's response was, we make good candy. Uh, I was like, dude, yes. Yeah, that's sick. We make good candy. I like Carlo Boss. Like, you got Carlo Boss. Dude, it's hard so candy. good. I love hard candy. I love hard candy. Like, I, like, I'm not really crazy about candy all that much, but like a good hard candy, like, you know, you're stuck on that shit for a while. I was talking that shit like growing up before. Like, your dad gave you a piece of chocolate and you'd like, suck on it, savor that. Yeah, for sure. Savor it, because you aren't getting any more. Like, if you savor it, he'd be like, if you savor that one, then I'll give you, maybe give you another piece. Yeah. And it just teaches you how to fucking, like, make that candy last. I was like, with Funko, I'm always like, I love you, buddy, if you're watching, but, like, I'm full of scarf candy now. I'm like, dude, you're not going to, like, let it, like, you're not going to, like, let it, like, park on the bench for a second and just, like, enjoy, enjoy the scenery for a second. Yeah, like, smell the it's roses. It's not food. It's not food. Like, smell the roses. Because candy is a delight, it's a treat, and it's wonderful, and it's, yeah. and especially when it's well made and it's like natural and shit, it's like that's just like a joy. And it's supposed to be taken into moderation, and it's wonderful. And everything in moderation, including moderation. Why do you gotta wild the fuck up? Okay, I think we got this going. I think this is going pretty good. If if, if I have one thing, uh, yeah, we do. We just need to get you that mic thing. Okay. Man, I'm 
probably too much dance tomorrow. <clears throat> Fuck it. Fuck yeah. It. Uh, yeah, Lofty Pursuits, uh, public displays of confection, which is, like, an amazing thing. And, uh, he's really funny, and he's got, like, a, like a grandpa vibe. And their new, uh, logo has, like, a, a candy man with a, with a medical mask on. <laughs> and it's really cool, man, because they're in Florida, right, where they're opening shit, and they have a restaurant diner inside, and he posted this whole thing being like, we love you guys, but I don't feel comfortable with you like they they have like a curbside pickup thing and they do delivery on the, they do their own delivery Isaac. Uh, blockchain. Yeah. Say where are they? They're Tallahassee. Oh, off Florida. the ten. Off, really? Yeah. That's tight. And uh, the ten freeway is right here. Yeah, they're literally like technically down the street. We could take one country. highway to Lofty Pursuit right now. And uh, but he was just like, I, I don't feel comfortable reopening right now. I don't think that uh, it is a safe to do with food, you know. It's cool, I respect that. I have like mixed fins, but I don't really want to go into it on here and cause like a whole discussion on this. But, uh, be safe, guys. Yeah. But flex, flex your brain. Um, I'm not doing strikeouts, Austin. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Those are over. And actually, you know, we're doing our tape tonight live, and you have, have you noticed we're not keeping a score of the donations. You guys have been buying stuff, you guys have been giving donations, which is amazing because, like, dude, we can't play shows. I haven't got my stimulus check, so. You know, like, like I was saying too, like we have the new Boys Age tape. My friend Kaz from Japan, you guys buy that. It's still, I'm still needing to break even on this. So, uh, and I didn't even use my stimulus on that. I used the money, the little money that Nar has in the budget. But Austin, who asked doing strikeouts tonight, his band Shrimp Olympics, uh, <clears throat> Shrimp Olympics, they have a tape coming to Nar too. It's very soon. They're amazing. I love that band. Yeah, uh, but I can't do strikeouts. No, and also like you know, I haven't been asking like to buy shots or whatever, but uh, you guys could if you see the donation buttons there on the side of uh, Venmo and the, the, the Cash App and the PayPal. Um, you guys can suggest that I take a shot or whatever. Maybe I will or whatever. But uh, anything you guys could do to help is amazing. Yeah. And you guys have tonight. It's been awesome. And uh, we're just like we're bringing the show back again, and we're making it less about the money side of stuff. It's more about just like hanging out, hanging out, man, and just like yeah. having fun with this shit again. Austin, which which one of your EP should I play later? Yeah, Austin, which EP should I play later? Which one? Guys? I'm on your band camp right now, so let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll Joshua play. Harrison, of course I remember you. Yeah, dude, Josh, Josh, you've been around for a long time. We, we yeah. Like how to cancel? <laughs> Joshua Harrison, no, you don't need to. Uh, keep it. Don't need to auction it back. I I do airbrush now. You should put it in a frame. Yeah, you should frame it. Uh, I do airbrush now, and uh, I can just do more and more. I, I actually, that's like my my main gig now is I make a custom airbrush shirts, and I have it set up to uh, maybe make some shirts tonight. I, I forgot to mention that, but I was gonna ask guys if you guys wanted to see me make a shirt. Maybe if somebody wanted a custom shirt, uh, I could do it. Uh, out, nothing's canceled. Uh, yeah, you're to donate. You're all good, dude. We're just kicking it. This is entertainment, baby. We're just chilling on fucking YouTube. All 31 of us, and then 30, 33 of us, kind of me and Isaac. Uh, love you, Bree. Yep. We'll see you next Wednesday. Uh, we repack the conspiracy talks. Well, yeah, we can. But we're not gonna have Corey on the back on our tape that works. No. I'm sorry. I'm a- I've actually been watching uh, Mark Flatter and stuff. Yeah, but I can't, I'm sorry, guys, but the old host of cons- the conspiracy show is... He's uh, also not around right now, so, like, that's beyond the point, besides the point. Yeah. But, um, yeah, we'll, we'll figure out some other fun streams to do throughout, throughout our time here. I'm down. Um, the conspiracy show, though, we'll, I, we'll have to, like, if we did something like that, we have to re- re-approach the whole thing. No, I was gonna say, Austin... We're gonna play one of your. I'll just play. Uh, we were gonna play one of your band camp releases. What's well, so the one with like the mother? That one in the middle. This one, Danish Breakfast. We'll just yeah, play this. Yeah, play one. Danish Breakfast. Let's we'll just play this. So, all right. So we're gonna play Trump Olympics. Uh, one of the newer NAR bands. Uh, we're trying to bring the te- like we haven't really you know the uh, boy, this Boys Age tape is the first tape that we put out in 2020, and it's uh it's May. Five months. Took us five months to put a tape out this year, guys. Tapes kind of like, you know, they're not what they used to be. And I do it for the love of it. And they're kind of just more like, just like souvenirs. They're not like, you know, the people who like them are kind of niche. 
I'm like, they used to be crazy. They used to go off of the tape. But it's just different now. Spotify just kind of changed everything. And, uh, which is cool. It's all good, man. As long as people are listening to music, fuck it. Uh, but we're still gonna do the cassettes. We have some more coming. Um, and, uh, yeah. And our tape isn't going anywhere. We're just gonna keep doing the tapes, man. We got Carly G's tape coming soon. That's the next one. Then the Shrimp Olympics. And I, I think we're doing a Little Wings live tape from 2003. That me and Kyle have been talking about. And I, I found this CD in this box from this basement I lived in in Portland. And I just re rediscovered it like a year ago. And it's a whole ass Magic Wand era set of Kyle playing like all his hits. Like Mike and Beach and Magic Wand hits. Pretty crazy. So that's what I'm going to do. Yo, this thank you, Josh. Hell yeah. All right, so. I don't know how that works. He donated last time. Did you text Funko about that? Did you ask him how that works? Yeah, he just. He didn't respond to me. Okay. Not so far. I'm sure it's just linked to. I think it's that it's like linked. that when you don't. Like Joshua Harrison, how he donated, like, through YouTube. We don't really know how that works, but I think. Well, I'm sure. I think I'm, it's like once it gets to, like, $100, then we can, do, like, withdraw yeah, there's it. Yeah, there's something like that, but, like, you know, if we set our stuff to. Or set the videos to monetary and stuff, but, like, Wumble's definitely. He wants to input in some sort of account that it would go to. Right? So we'll just, we we'll have, just ask him. We have VHS here. Actually, you go to the website. We have VHS of the Nartape Network uh, weekly song and video challenge, first 12 weeks of mine, Jimmy, Funk One, Isaac's songs. 48 music videos on here. Uh, you can go to the website and get it. I think it's like 10 or 15 bucks. But uh, we'll mail it to you. Ship to we did this with Starburns Industries. They did the first season of Rick and Morty. Uh, and Moral Oral, things like that. Uh, I love Moral Oral. Yeah. So, we love, nobody really bought these when we did these. Uh, so, if you're talking about Vaporwave is bringing back VHS, we'll hopefully some people buy some VHS. Fuck, man. I really don't know. can't imagine that for the week. I've done it before, so I can imagine what it's like. It's not fun. I really like. I really like. <laughs> yeah, here, hit the shit. I like it. I really do. I'm not gonna lie. It makes me feel good. I love it. And um, I just love it. Nothing like annoying. Yeah, I mean, if you want to donate, like, just the PayPal, the Venmo, the Cash App's right there. But, like, I mean, you can donate, but you can also just go to the website and buy something. Well, that money still goes to us, and you'll also get something, too. So there's that, um, as well. Aw, oh, damn. Sartorius. Ah! Uh, the website is acting funny. God damn it. We try to call Fungal real quick. Text him being like him. I'm just I'm using my phone for like a monitor right here. So. I'll text him here. Damn, we've been having some problems with the website. That just fucking sucks. Yeah, the website has been weird, she says. Uh, I don't know what. I, like, I've seriously been debating just, like, fucking doing one of those stupid, like, cartel. Fucking, oh, what is that called? Like, yeah, big cartel fucking things. Because it's just fucking our website. It's cool, but, like, it's Did all. Did you get through to the order page? Did get that far? I got, I'm, I'm through to the order page. Who are we listening to right now? Olympics, uh, the release on Bandcamp Danish, Danish Breakfast Sunday, and this song is called The Artist is the Garden. Love that. It's 
working for you? Not right now. I did. I got, I got to the, the checkout. Why? Now it's not working? Also, if yeah, if there's something on the site, if the site is acting weird, uh, you can just tell me what you want to get, and I can write it down right here. Uh, I have I keep a uh, log of all the uh, commissions I do for my art and for uh, stuff I saw off Instagram, because I'm all constantly on my Instagram stories trying to sell this shit, these tapes and stuff. So people buy off there, so I have a list. So if there's anything you want, I can just take your order and you can just Venmo me or cash out or pay to me, um, and then I'll just send it to you. I'll pack it up tomorrow and send it. On Friday. I'll be hungover tomorrow. I'm not gonna <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, I was hungover today, and then I was like having palpitations before the fucking show, and then I was like, fuck, I'm gonna be hungover tomorrow, too. And this fucking light in the face is blinding me. It's crazy, but it's sick, because it looks good. It looks good. It really does. Um, <laughs> We can probably get like some sort of better filter for it, so it's not so. Blinded by the light, revved up like a deuce or random. I think I got blue. I'm about to buy some tickets. Rick never did Sartorius as the chorus song? Fuck, what was that? We'll do it. Yeah, Teha Boon. There's so many things that you are supposed to have that you've like ordered over the years that like I'm gonna have to track down when it's finally time to send you all that shit. Have everything. Huh? It's all about the chorus. I've sold off on Discogs like all the any remaining of tapes. There's no backlog, there's no back catalog. At the very at the very least, we'll have to like we'll track them down for somebody. Yeah, I don't know. We'll be I, able to find them. I was able to, to, to run through the whole the whole uh, through the site to get the tape. I'm trying to get the free weed LP and the NAR tapes pin. What's that cost on there? The new free weed will be coming out when I'm done with it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great fucking answer. Uh, I'm aiming for like 13 songs. I have four or five. The songs I have are Nothing Much, Smoking Weed, Country Clothes. Give me a try. Maybe one more? Is that like four or five? Yeah. Um, but it's gonna be it's gonna be my best record. I really think so. I really do think so. I think it's like what people want from it. I think. Cost twenty seven eighty with shipping. Yeah. Hell yeah. If it's not, if it doesn't let you not let you check out. Then you can just Venmo me or cash out me that and uh, and, then, and then yeah, message me on Instagram and then I'll uh, move your address and uh, I'll make sure it gets you. That's yeah, pretty much the same. <laughs> Josh said, I'll, I'll spend one thousand dollars and another free. Oh, no. Let's go! If you got the G, we got the the, the, the time, bro. Let's go. Throw a thousand at me and I got you. So I'll have to do it. If Uncle, I'll have to make the beats. It, uh, me, Funkle, I'll make the beats, and then uh, I'll do the vocals here in LA with the Neumann. We have a fucking nice ass microphone right here. I still owe you a second family kill us on the black side. Yes, I need to make a dub of that. I need to. I know that in the storage unit there is a J card and a sticker label for it, but I just need to get like a tape to, to put to dub it onto. Dude, let's uh, let's play the intro again. Alright, we're going to take a break for a second, guys. Go check out the website.
Uh, or you can also check out daddysdoodleden.com. That's daddy's doodle den d-a-d-d-y-s doodle d-o-o-d-l-e den.com there's a bunch of my uh my artwork and weird shit on there too that you guys can get if you're interested in that we're gonna play the intro to the song real quick uh while we uh roll up another joint intro to the show live from los angeles wood california it's nartapes night live with your host ricky gay and voted LA's hottest co-host, Isaac Arita. This is Nar Tapes Night Live. That was pretty fun, right? We're doing it. That was pretty good. Uh, I just felt like we should play that again because uh, a lot of you probably didn't weren't around at the very, very, very beginning of the stream to uh, to see that fun intro uh, Jimmy and Ricky made. <clears throat> the PayPal information is on the screen as well, right there. Oh yeah, sorry, I just saw that. Yeah, you can use uh, you can use PayPal as well. Just make sure you send as friends or family so it doesn't take a fucking fee. Like a crazy fucked up fee. Don't let it take that fee, bro. Don't let it take that fee, bro. Don't let. Also, you can see on the screen right there. See the P right here. It's a little lower. A little lower. Almost there. Yeah. Right there. P. Poke it a little bit. PayPal. Yeah, there you go. PayPal. Ooh. PayPal. Ooh. PayPal. Hey guys, here's a shot to you. Much love. Maybe some corn covers that I blind. Okay. Now it's 2K. Do a Sublime cover. Ooh. I love Sublime, man. I got a Sublime poster in my in my bedroom. Oh, my island is not open right now. Uh, should I open my island on on, on uh, Animal Crossing? I don't have my I have my Switch code as a friend, but I don't have my Dodo code. A Dodo code is like a way for you to get to my island. Like it changes every time you use it. Uh, okay. uh, you can also come in here like on my friend list or a best friend, but like randoms can just come. Oh, that's that. Nice. So that's like kind of like you need that to just fall. Yeah, if you just want to come and check it out. Like, check people, out, people yeah. are having art shows and shit like that. Yeah, yeah. Are, yeah. But there can only be a certain amount at a time, so you have to, like, get in line. Yeah, it's great. I love Animal Crossing so is there, much. Is there, like, a uh, maximum pool to, like, go over? Like, yeah, I think so. Animal Crossing's a cool... It's great. It's like also like people are like what you're playing that, but then it's like even like people I've told like like especially girls who don't leave a fucking around with video games. It's like I went and hung out with my friends on their island and we went fishing and I sent them like a little furniture and we like watered yeah. each other's flowers and it's stuff. It's beautiful. It's nice. It's like all sweet stuff. Like it's like sort of that and it's kind it's, and it's got yeah. it's got it's like a kind lovely thing. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. You're playing a, a pocket camp on mobile. I need to start getting into that because I want to play on mobile too. But I just got Dino Squad and. They have Dead by Daylight yeah. now, which is sick, because I love Dead by Daylight. They're probably going to make me have to pay for, for Ghostface, but if they have Ghostface, if they're able to, if the licensing extends to mobile, that's my character, because it has a fucking cloak mode, and I love that. That game is awesome. I really enjoy that game. It's very uh, ridiculous, though. The ultimate goal in Animal Crossing is just to pay off your debt. Yeah, that's, is that the ultimate goal, though? The ultimate goal for me is to have a chill ass island, right? Yeah, that was the sick zone to invite your homies. Literally, like I've never had more fun just like walking around the sun trying to catch butterflies in my life. It's like yay. I, I fucking love it so much. And then I can go to Crux, like me and Crux from Guantanamo Baywatch, he's hella into it. And like when early on in the game, like uh, I wasn't doing very well, and then him and my friend Brandon, they both like helped me out so much. Like give me shit that I needed. And I go to their islands and buy sick gear and sick outfits and shit, and like my place looks dope, dude. When you guys come to my house, you play Animal Crossing, you guys come to my house, they'll be like, damn, this is sick in here. You see my jam room? I have a huge jam room upstairs. But I think I'm gonna move to the basement. Then I think I'm gonna make the upstairs like a, an, like the Nartape's office, like a label. Like, 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 a, like, a, like an office, yeah. That's like, I was playing Pocket Camp for a little bit when it came out. I had a little weird story. Yeah, I heard New Leaf was sick. I, I I really like I like the idea of Animal Crossing. I've never really been into like I mean the thing is like I loved Sims back in the day, but it's more fun than that. It's like a weird, it's a lot of different things and it hits a lot of different things. I have like I got this app, this like independent app this guy made. It's amazing and it has like everything. He has like a checklist 
of everything in the game so you can see how far you are getting all the stuff. Like your critters and your museum and all that stuff. And it tells you the, your birthdays for all your, your villagers and like what perfect gifts to give them. <laughs> and uh, uh, now also he just added yesterday. This guy made it by himself and it was $2.99 for the app so I paid for it. And he like updates it really it's so perfect. It's like works better than fucking half the apps I own. And like it's like he just added today this like daily oh, not today but like two days ago a daily checklist so you have like a, it is perfect it's like everything it's like okay and you just like to the right, I talked to all my villagers I hit all my rocks I combed the beach I got my DIY recipe I got the furniture out of the trees I visited the next stop I went to the store I went to Abel's like it's sick yeah you gotta come kick it on the island bro you gotta come kick it Place. Joshua Harris says to get skinny to do a Cypress Hill cover and free weed and funk to do corn Sade snow covers. I'll put 2K in right now. No questions <laughs> asked. Let's go! I swear to you. And we'll fucking make we'll work it out fucking how to put that shit out like on vinyl or some shit, dude. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Throw it in. Let's go. We'll make it happen, bro. You see the Venmo. You yeah, see which, the Cash App. Which, uh, you see the PayPal. Show. Send as a friend, no friend friends and family, no fee. Let's go, dog. I would save my ass right now. We would fucking have Narte would have a budget, and then me and Funko can make this fucking shit happen, dude. Corn, we would fucking corn song. We do freak out a leash. We would do fucking dude. I want to uh, falling away from me. Uh, That's yeah. my fucking jam. Yeah. Falling away from me. <laughs> falling away from me. Beating me down. Beating me. Beating me down. Down into the ground. Yeah, I brought that CD to my grandma's house and she started crying. And my old grandpa was like, my face screamed, like, I thought you liked CCR. I was like, I do, dude. Like, what? Like, this is corn, though, bro. Like, calm down, Gramps. Rest in peace, Grandpa Ron. Marlboro Man, uh, secret uh, double life is a homosexual man that his, his two moms racing to be cool. For some reason, his trucker life, he just couldn't admit being gay. Poor man died uh, lung cancer from Marlboro cigarettes and refused to do uh, chemo because he didn't want to smoke, stop smoking, and he just uh, died in bed one night. But he was a sick ass grandpa. He actually wasn't even related to me. My grandma married him when I was four years old. But he was the he was the, uh, the grandpa that I have spent the most time with my entire entire life. I have I've had the pleasure of having four grandfathers. I have uh, my mom's dad pops, my dad's dad Mick, who died of a heroin overdose at seventy three. Uh, my grandpa Lou, which is my stepdad's dad, and then my grandpa Ron, which is the one I was just talking about. My stepdad's dad, Grandpa Lou, is from Hungary, escaped Hungary during a Hitler bomb, Nazi bombing raid. Uh, you, we used to go down the basement and look at his uh, his his uh, luggage that had the shrapnel hole in it from when they were running during a bombing raid in, uh, in Budapest. That's crazy. Isn't that crazy, bro? So we used to go down there and like, look at this fucking like, shrapnel blasted luggage that he was carrying when he was a kid. No one blocked the shot from him. It's crazy shit, dude. I have four sick ass grandpas. Love them all. Very lucky. Why well, I want to be a grandpa. I love grandpas. They're the shit. Grandpas rule. Shout out all grandpas living and dead, man. Hopefully we can make them proud. Let's go, Josh. Let's go. I'm serious, too. I'll write it down. Only other album I'm working. The new White Thing album is done. It's finished recording. The new Memories album is done. About to come out this month. New Free Weed is all I have to do, but I just recorded that in my room on my phone. It's going to come out naturally anyway. So that that's a... If you really want to do that, if you're really talking shop, Josh, you want to throw that down, let's go, because we'll make that happen for real. Uncle has this whole recording setup at his house. He can make the beats at his fucking house. I can do the vocals here in, in L.A., uh, with the fucking sick ass Neumann microphone that we have. And Funkle can make the fucking music at the fucking pad. And it'll be fucking dope. Shit, Isaac can help too. It's so sick to do a corn cover. Shaw Day, too. I would do Cherish the Day. Cherish the Day! Won't go astray! Won't be afraid! Won't catch me running! <laughs> Yeah, see, that's why I'm not, I can't sing my like Chandra. It's just back. Ten dollars for a reclaimed dab? No, that's so oh, really gross. Have, have oh, the Burglar Brett album is actually only needs three more, <laughs> four, three or four more songs, and then it's done. 
Brad was here the other day on the uh, Isaac's on Isaac's uh, Undertale stream. Wasn't Undertale stream? No, it was the Hip Hop Isaac stream, right? Oh yeah, it was the Hip Hop Isaac release party stream. Yeah, Brett was here. He's down. I mean, we were, what he was doing is he was saying he wouldn't do a song unless it was 50 bucks per song. So if you guys donate 50 bucks for a Brett LeBret song, I'll give it to him. And uh, we'll cut a track. Uh, we, do, it's, we just, I just make a, we, it, we just do it in one session. It's there. You'd be, it, uh, i actually been listening to the tracks a bunch recently. And I'm pretty excited to get this album done. Uh, because it's great. And it, it's cool that we have the network back too. And like Brett... He'll sh I'm sure he'll show, he'll show himself at some point. You know, like, uh, yeah, I'm wet for bread. Yeah, here. Shot. Wet for bread, guys. Wet for bread. Like it. Like it. I want to put, like, a scroll or something behind our tits. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I'm saying. A what? Like a scroll. A scroll. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like a dark soul. Yeah. Or like a skyrim. Yeah, I want that look. I don't know why I'm like. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm just waiting for Josh Harrison's bit to talk about that look. That will be the best moment of my entire Nugget Network career. If like the, the, the pilot for season season one of the reboot yeah. has a two thousand dollar donation. Because I had I had a, I have the highest. If I was gonna use as a record. Oh, you said right, I picked the song, ten song LP, skinny ass do one side of song. Whatever not, you want, yeah. I'm not saying this is as a joke. How can I send you my email? Not on my chat. Email me at nartapes at gmail.com. Yeah, talk about it. I'm fucking down. Ten song LP? Perfect. Yeah. We do Sade, we do Corn. What do you say, Snow? Cypress Hill, you want it? Cypress Hill. Do fucking uh, whatever. What, Sugar dude, Ray, maybe. Dude, get get together more ideas. Because yeah, any song, you pick the songs, you man. Did. Like when I when we did. So also the same homie of mine who passed away, uh, who put out the Free Weed introducing. He also did the uh, 1990 ounce uh, covers album that you're referencing, and like this will be the sequel to. He basically was like, here are all these songs that I want you to do. Pick. Uh, Eight of them, because I think they did, and then those are the ones you'll do. So, like, you, you want to pick up like, a big list, and you're like, These are the ones we have to do, and then here's ones you would want us to do, and we could pick from that. That's another way we could do it. Uh, just talk, just, just message, message, hey, send yeah, email, hell yeah. send a message to Ricky privately, and then like, let's talk it out. For 2K, real. 2K works, man. Yeah, just, just, we'll, we'll sort it out. It's, I mean, it's. <laughs> It's two thousand dollars. That's plenty, you know. And like, it is like we we do like to have some kind of like wanting to do uh, music anyway. But like, that's just puts a fire on our ass of anything, and it makes it's just, it creates. So we go in the studio, like, man, we got like two thousand dollars to make this album. We're gonna make this sick, shit sick. This is funny as fuck. It's gonna be awesome. And covers, like, perfect, man. Perfect, perfect uh, combination there. Um, Song featuring Carly, <laughs> that's sick. Um, she needs to get a good microphone. Um, Carly, if she wants to be featured on the album. Um, or we can just mix it in there well. Also, I just saw that Justin Human donated for another Brett Brett song. So, I am going to pass the word on to Brett. And uh, I think that he's going to be really, uh, really excited, you guys. Uh, I need to find, find his phone. So. Another stipulation is you have to be in a video wearing your... Uh, Quadruple X Dicky shirt. Hell yeah, dude. Yes. Have you seen, I've been on the music video thing. I've been making music videos for people. So uh, I would love to have you in the video. We did uh, have you set up the camera, give us any little direction, you know, help you direct it so that you feel confident and that you know what we want. And then just like, you know, that'd be much. We just be a fucking laptop screen or phone. And then we'll just get you like looking sick as fuck in your Dicky shirt, man. Yeah, bring Duffy back. Yeah, I'd love to. I miss my Duff, man. I always see him when I go to Portland. The uh, life wife over there. I can do him a lot. I'm a big, a big lover of stuff. Stuff, stuff. Alright, Burglar Brett. One more in the can, damn. I'm gonna get him in the studio this weekend. Shit, fuck it. I don't need him doing anything. Yeah, I saw that stone soup. Let's go. And thank you for the extra J donation, too. Should roll another J, Isaac House. Okay. 
I'm gonna throw down on this one too. Yeah. I love smoking weed, guys. I love smoking chronic. I love smoking chronic. That's what's going on. What song? What music are you playing right now? Nice. So I'm already just loving this return to the Narcade Network, man. Narcade's Night Live is great. I like how Sweet Lined it in. It's not like, uh. Sounds good. Looks clean. Feels nice. We can, like, we can also, like, I kind of just threw this layout together really quick today, but, like, we could even brainstorm more on, like, uh, just, like, you know, different, uh, lots of, lots of different things. Yeah. Oh yeah, also, if you go to my website, I have some of these Beret Dog uh, tote bags that we uh, screen printed here. Got like two of them left. Here we go. Pause it. Talk to him for a second. <laughs> that shit is fucked up. <laughs> um, Hell oh, yeah! All right, I, <laughs> I'm stoked. Um, I'm stoked. Everyone's having a good time with us tonight um, on this live stream. It's it's nice. It's, it's nice to get to hang out with y'all um, and do this. Um, I've been I've been you know I, I've been I've been trying to I've been putting putting some work into get, getting this shit nice and stuff. And so I'm excited. I'm excited for the new season. I'm excited to get down um, with y'all on. Channel, our tape network, night live. Well, I did, I fucked it all up. My uh, the other guitar is ready to go. <laughs> Josh said, okay, though, one other stipulation I have to be in the video wearing my XXL Dickie yeah, shirt. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's all good. Lovely wants a tote bag. Yeah, where, where, where's your the tote bags at on Daddy's Doodle Den? Yeah, Daddy Doodle. The song that's actually this guitar's been getting played a lot. It's just that it's been really hot. Yeah, with with the temperature shifts, there's definitely gonna be uh Nibbling on sponge, sponge. Nibbling, nibbling on sponge, sponge. <laughs> right. uh, is that what it is? on sponge, okay. I can't do it either. <laughs> Never on sponge, sponge skate. Watching the sun bake. All those tourists covered in oil. Strumming my six string. There you go, okay. Never on sponge skate. <laughs> All those tourists. Damn, dude. What the happens to Whoa, me. Jules is here. What's up? Never on line. sponge cake. There you go. Watching the sun bake. There you go. All these tourists covered in oil. Uh -huh. Strumming my six string. On my front porch swing. You hey. You smell those shrimp, they're beginning to boil. Wasting away again in Margaritaville. Searching for my last shaker of salt. Some people claim the desert. I don't know the reason I stayed here all season Nothing to show but this brand new tattoo Well, it's a real beauty A mess 
sick and cute How it got there I haven't a clue Wasted away again in Margaritaville Searching for my little one she girl saw I blew out my flip flop, stepped on a hot top, pop top, rusted my heel, had to head on back home. Check it out though. See it. There's booze in the blender, and soon it will render the fucking concoction that helps me hang on. Wasted away again in Margaritaville Searching for that lost shaker song Some people claim that there's a Well, 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 better But I know Hell, it's old Stone Cold's fault go nice how's that any requests out here in the chats that can do uh do uh huh can't oh, do a guitar. <laughs> all the oh the j bone the j bone the j bone hell yeah it's our tourist much love amigo poor shot for that for all my friends out in the chats, here's a shot for all you cats. Gonna do it and look real nice. Feel not so good in the morning time. Unless I drink some water, which I'm gonna, I'll be fine. <laughs> We are the Nazi show. Look at that drove. <coughs> I'm on the Nazi show. I'm up smoking the drove. I like to see you guys in the chat. So, okay, let's go. I like to sing a couple songs and look at the lights. And then we gonna smoke some more weed, alright? We're going up and down on the roller coaster. And we're going the fastest and we're going the mostest. And we're doing things like you wish you could. Like some fucking weed in your own neighborhood. Like it is legal and it's kind of cheap. Around here, it's the way to get high, cheap. Tarzan. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about the strangers like me. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about the strangers like me. I want to know, can you show me? I want to know about the strangers like me. Is that Tarzan? Yeah. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. I want to know. Fucking Disney. I want to know about this Tarzan like me. Phil Collins made the soundtrack. And that's why the song is so fucking good, man. Phil Collins, uh, he was in Genesis. But he's not good as this Peter Gabriel. It was <laughs> and I don't mean that. Maybe I like the Collins a little more. I guess I'm just sitting back. I didn't know that I had to be right tonight. But here's all going and I'm going to do it right now. Okay. I want to know. 
Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. Then check it out. Doing the shot. I got to join my fingers. And they call it the pot. But guess what? It's legal now. It ain't 1996. And we're all around. Here. We like pussies and dicks. Come on. We're chilling now. 2020 quarantine. I'm not 31. I'm not fucking 19. I'm fucking chilling now. I'm a grown ass man. Drinking whatever I want. Come on, man. Come on. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers like me. I want to know. Can you show me? I want to know about these strangers. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I say, hey, what's, what's going, going on? on? Hey, hey, I say, hey, yeah, 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 I say, hey, what's going on? It's from the bomb. It's from the, it's from the bomb. It's from the, it's from the bomb. It's from the, it's from the bomb. Finished with my woman cause she couldn't help me with my life People think I'm insane because I am frowning all the time Can you help me? Help me with my brain oh, oh, yeah. Finished with my woman cause she couldn't help me with my life People think I'm insane because I am frowning all the time huh. 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 Come on. Huh. 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 That was pretty sick. <laughs> that was pretty sick. <laughs> okay. Okay. Every morning there's a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four post bed. I don't know if I should use it, but I'll use it for the weekend or maybe a one night stand. Her, her, come on now. You know what I'm fucking talking about. It's called P U S S Y, and I will do it every time, and I cannot lie. Come on. Yeah, 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 Like a kiss on the rose on a girl's new grand. I saw Sublime in 1995. I saw Sublime, it was amazing. All of the homies were blazing. I saw Sublime in 1995. I saw Sublime, it was amazing. I loved your homies were blazing. I saw Sublime. In 1995, it was a happy time watching the homies be played. Oh, oh, love Bradley. I saw Sublime. In 1995, I saw Sublime. It was amazing. All of the homies were blazing. Yeah, in 1995. In 1995, I saw Sublime. No one's gonna take you there, cause time is in the past. And you're not there anymore. Come on, I yeah. saw Sublime in 1995, and you know my kind of the music I just type. I just listen to it every time I do it. Put the headphone on, and you know I just move to it. It's so good, me, my Sublime look. Ooh, 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 ooh. Split 
one up, put one up for the homies. Roll a joint and maybe a couple rollies. And we get high like a couple of trees. We like bees blowing in the breeze. Come on, now we fucking chilling with the old guys. And we getting high, that's what you realize. I fucking like doing things like that. Because we smoking on the weed like a kitty. Cat likes cat dip. Eating on the milk and the cat chow. And we doing things like, oh my god, so I know. Yeah, we fucking pull that out of ass. And right now it's the cheapest time to buy gas. Come on. The stock market crashing. <laughs> I'm playing Crash Bandicoot crashing in my room in my tidy whiteies, and I like things. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, did you, did you have to? Did you just make that up? Yeah. Dude, I saw Sublime. Oh my god. No, I, I, that's what I made up a while ago. Okay, I didn't. I never heard that. That's amazing. <laughs> that shit is so fucking funny. I saw Sublime in 1995. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what I've been singing for a while. I don't it's like one of my boys I do when I'm drunk. Okay, I don't remember here. I posted it on my TikTok. I don't follow. I, have, I don't have. But it's like, well, I, I, it's what, but we've been drunk so many times together where I'm always singing shit. So you probably just might have missed it. Yeah. But I've, had it for, I've had it for like, like two years. Okay, it's been around. Yeah. I can't believe I missed it. We should make it into a song. Yeah, it's just fucking hilarious. I saw Sublime in 1995. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Some bongos and some acoustic yeah. guitar. R.P. <laughs> Bradley for real, bro. So here's my Parties, thing. Like, yeah. remember when they made the Eagles documentary and all of a sudden it was like, dude, I fucking love the Eagles, bro. Like, uh -huh. uh, fucking, uh, they're going to do the same thing with Sublime. Like, if there's the right Sublime documentary, everybody's going to be like, oh, Sublime is like California quintessential culture, bro. It is. I, I love Sublime, you know, and like it's one of those things where like sometimes you don't like a certain group because of like the people the, the you stigma, associate stigma. the people you associate that music with. You know, you might like the music, but you also like ah oh, all those fools that actually that also watch it. See, exact same happened when um, when ICP dropped Miracles. Yeah. And everybody's like, oh, and now I like ICP. Yeah, yeah. It's it's just one Didn't of those. Like it's one of those things. We'll let this we'll let this one fly. I love the Eagles, bro. I love, I love the, the Eagles. Eagles too. I love the Eagles. Um, but it's just one of those things, you know, like with Sublime, like, I don't know. I love Sublime, man. I think Brad, Brad was one of the best. But I'm a Creedence guy, you can see right that. there. Creedence Clearwater Revival. Creedence. Like, really? If you Creedence wanted, American Band of I all feel time. like if you want to trace back, like, I mean, trace back, like, that, 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 that hip-hop rock thing. Like, they're one of the first fools to really, like, do that. I hope there is a sublime doc like that. Yeah, I'd watch the fuck out of that. Here, here's another little baby shot for you guys out there. I'm gonna check my email and see if Josh sent that email. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Uh. No, not yet. I love, I have a sublime poster, it, okay, so like Colin's been in the chats, and Colin's like one of our old ass homies, and I sent him a very explicit picture from my room, because like we're homies like that, you know what I mean? And like I didn't realize until after I sent the pic that in the mirror, not in the mirror, but in my iPad, you can see my sublime, the reflection of my sublime. Okay. It's really sick. <laughs> I was like, hey, I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having a good time. I'm having a great time. I haven't seen the Tropicalia documentary, no. But I went to Brazil. And that shit was crazy. Sick. What is your top five music docs? Yeah, what are the other I ones? I would love to know. Number one is uh, some kind of monster. Yeah, I kind of, I always put that even like <laughs> just in my top five of best docs. Oh, movie. Yeah, just best docs, period. Period. If you don't know anything about Metallica, it's still like really fascinating to see this type of story, you know. I also really like, um, I thought the Eagles doc was pretty good. That one's done really well. The first part, the second part. Daniel Johnson. That one, yeah. Oh, yeah. Count Van Zandt. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Eagles. I really like um, I really like the Metallica. wrecking crew. I like the wrecking crew. And the one. wrecking crew ones. Really it's good. not like the best doc, but like oh, decline. All the declines. Yeah, I kind of count those as their own thing. 
Uh, Penelope Spears, too. She did the Wayne's World movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Watch the Suge Knight doc. I don't know which one. Um, the whole Hip Hop Evolution show on Netflix is really good. That one's really, yeah. One million percent. That's really good. Yeah, on S on Amazon Prime, Austin. There's like a hundred like Prime random Stonks ass fucking uh, band documentaries that are hilarious, dude. About shit that like 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 it's like trying to be like a, a hell, hella epic ass like like a documentary or whatever, but it's just like, the worst shit. So it's hard. I, don't, I won't mention it by name because I don't want her to be explain. Well, yeah, I heard that Ken Burns' music, country music one is really good, but I still haven't watched it. I've been meaning to watch. I actually downloaded the PBS app on my Roku. I already just know a lot about the country music shit, but I feel like I'll learn more, so I just need to... I yeah, don't. country music is also, like, I love country music. Yeah, that's my, my favorite one. When I talk about folk shit, I kind of, you know, it's like country Country, music. to me, is kind of in there. Yeah. With the folk stuff. Kind of. Yeah, pretty it has, much it, it has parallels. Like, lots and lots of parallels. Um, they always have, like, the same ten reviews. Yeah. Um... But I haven't seen the, the, the Ken Burns yet. No, me neither. I agree with you on the Hip Hop Evolution. Um, that, that's a good series. I just watched a good one about, um, like, um, with Charlie Knuckles. Frankie Knuckles? Frankie Knuckles. Yeah, yeah. that's just all the house stuff. The house stuff. The Chicago house? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, yeah, well, like, right after, like, it's like a little, like, kind of like the same time as, te as techno, but, like, well, it was like they were kind of like the first ones. Yeah, and House like, they, like first. And there's this crazy part where they're talking about how they got flown out to Europe, and all these like crazy British fools are like all about their their shit, you know. And then right. now all of a sudden, there's all these fools in England like trying to to do that same thing. You know what I mean? Right. And and that was just like super sick and interesting, interesting to see, you know. Well, that Bay Area thrash one sounds sick. Yeah, that does sound pretty good. I like that shit. I like metal a lot. I know some friends of mine who do not fuck with metal at yeah, all. Yeah, for sure. I like metal. I like metal a lot. But like, I try to play with, like, I won't say who it was, but like, coming from kind of like a pretty well-known like rock band, <clears throat> and like, he's a good homie. But I was like trying to play them Power Trip, and they were not feeling it. I was like, what? I like all. I like music that makes my like face scrunch up and shit. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, Austin. Yeah, a really high production DJ Street documentary instead of like the weird ones that are on YouTube would be really, really key. Yeah, I want that. I, I want, want, I want like, a Three Six Mafia one really bad. I want a really, really good Dilla one too. Tommy Lee, uh, Tommy Lee, or uh, Tommy Wright the Third would be really good. I've been meaning to watch the Nas Illmatic one. Yeah, I want to watch that. Let's, I we love, should watch uh, that together. Illmatic's one of my favorite. We should watch that together. Yeah. yeah. Um, I liked the Quincy Jones doc a lot. I thought that one was really, really good. Um, I thought that the uh, the Fucking easy top one. On, that one's on Netflix. awesome. It's awesome. It's not like uh, uh, like the most. It's just they. It's rule. just awesome. Yeah, they roll so hard, so it's like it's awesome. When they're like, we were into punk, and <laughs> they put that like jam, you're like, whoa, Dude, this is that, crazy. That, that shit, that one song where it was just like the time signature is really weird, and then all those crazy synths going. It was like, like that's like hands are trying that, that like, whole thing, dude, like, that whole like, like dude, angular punk thing. Like those fools are some crazy post punk yeah. shit. Oh god, yeah. So like that, the easy top one was 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 really really good. Um. I love Power Trip. That's like my favorite modern metal band. They, I, they Nightmare just... Logic. <clears throat> That's the only album I really even listen to. I just listen to it all the fucking time, though. I still listen to it. I listen to it like consistently since it came out. I just love that record. Awesome. And there needs to be a Ween documentary. Like the, a real deal Ween one. one. Yeah. It's just that, like, that band's so, like, I feel like Dean or Jeaner is, like, so touchy that, like, they're, they're not, like, they're still living it. So that they're like not like ready for there to like be some kind of like document or like some kind of like solidifying thing or something. Did you talk? I can't believe the drummer shot acid. Yeah, I can believe that. I mean, uh, they talk about like uh, like they say that Towns Van Zandt said he would shoot up uh, uh, Coca Cola and whiskey, whiskey but I'm like, hey, you can't have bubbles in your veins. Yeah, no, you can't have like that kills you. Yeah. So that, he must. That, that, he, he, I mean, shooting up whiskey. I get. I still don't know if I believe. Maybe that. I don't know. I wouldn't like. Like, there's no doubt. Town, Town Van Zandt like got fucked up. You know. You know what's something I really want to want to see a, a documentary about is like uh, fatuation with like uh, old, oldies with like 
Mexican food. Yeah, Mexican that'd be really cool. In LA. Like, I, I want like that. Yeah, like the, yeah, like, the, like the why, East Side, like, why the East Side in, Story. Why still in twenty twenty? Like, there's there's young gangbanger pool that's like very well. And fucking and and, uh, and uh, still to this. What's day. that one that Mr. Capone does a song with? Uh, uh, I mean, Brenton Wood too. Yeah, Brenton like Wood. One. Yeah, Brenton Brent Wood's Wood. One. Yeah. And like, yeah, like that's that's something. I was talking to Patty that the other day. The you know what I mean? It's shit. like young, young, young fucking fools still listen to all those same oldies and shit, man. And it's like, what is it about, like, what is it about that? I mean, like, I love these songs too. That's why, that's why I want to see something like this. You know, Steve O definitely IV booze. Yeah, I guess you can IV booze. I guess like taking it in your butt's like the same thing, pretty much. No. Yeah, I guess you're right. Intravenously is like right there. Watch that. But stacks. hitting your blood system is why that works. Watch Stack 73 was pretty good. I like that one. You know, the, um, what's the one I'm thinking of? The, the studio in, was in the South, in Mississippi. Muscle Shoals. Yeah, that, that one, one's awesome. That one was great. Yeah, Muscle I almost Shoals, brought that one up. Muscle, Muscle Shoals was really fucking good. Yeah, the Swampers. Um, that's the, who the, that's the in-house band. That's those Muscle Shoals, the Wrecking Crew, is the Swampers. I forgot the and name. And then, you know, that, that's what that, uh, in uh, Sweet Home Alabama. He goes, he goes, Muscle Shoals got the Swampers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Swampers are sick. Muscle Shoals was dope. I don't remember the, uh, the, the, the Motown. The Motown. Standing in the Shadows of Motown. That one was really good, yep. too. The Funk Brothers. They're the Funk Brothers or whatever. There was also a really good one, that PBS one from like the 90s, where like, all the jazz people took that picture. Oh, yeah. I feel like... A day in the a day in Harlem or something. Yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's that right. one's really good. And there's just all these old ass jazz fools talking about how like it was just like because they were just so wild. it was like crazy to get them all there. They're all there because there was like legends and new cats and they like, were all up in this yeah, picture yeah. and it's like this crazy. It's all the documentary about this picture. They need to awesome. do one on Dan Tracy too. Let's yeah, call it for Day sure. in Harlem, right? I think so. Yeah, I I, I don't remember. Um, yeah, Dan. I, yeah, a television personality Dan Tracy one yeah, would be clutch. I clutch. would love that. That TVP was like for sure super important for me. Us, you know. Oh yeah, we jammed Connor the Minuteman documentary. That one. That is, one's like one of the best ones. Period. Sh- period. Sh- period. I can't believe we didn't mention yeah, that. That's one. top. That's top. That's top five. five. That's three, top five. Three maybe top five. That bumps sure. out the Eagles one. That for me. Oh yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Me too. That would bump me out too. the Eagles one. The top. The, out of my top five. So my top five would be like yeah, it'd be like Towns Van Zant. Maybe like the we jammed Econo. Some kind of monster. Dan, some kind of monster. Daniel, the Daniel Johnson, and then. Uh, And then the, the not the Wrecking Crew one, maybe like, I guess that Hartmore Highways is kind of like a. That one is really good. Yeah. That's a documentary kind of, right? It like, is. Yeah. One million percent. Yeah. So, or actually no, yeah, the music documentary, yeah, that'd be the one. Yeah. yeah. Hartmore Highways. Yeah. Yeah. Hartmore Highways fucking rips. Yeah, That's that a sad really one. Good. That's the one that has the footage of Town Fans that making that old dude cry from playing the, uh. <sighs> Waiting round to die. So uh, you're like, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, oh. What the fuck, yeah. That one's hard, dude. That's hard. Hard. There's so many good. There's so many good ones. Even ones that aren't good, where you just get to like get, have a glimpse. Actually, go on. Um, when we were on that tour, actually, we were listening to this podcast, Cocaine and Rhinestones, which was super sick. Yeah. So a lot of people that like, couldn't fuck with it because the first episode, he's like, he's a really bad podcaster. But he's actually really good. But then he becomes really good. I thought he was really good right off the bat. No, you were like, this guy's weird. It was his voice. Yeah, you were like, he's weird. I didn't like his voice. For me, podcasts, it's like, things like that, it's like, you got, you have, it, there's, I don't know what my criteria is, but it's either I like your voice, or you know what I mean, and it's like, I need to like the voice. Um, and at first it was weird, but the stories were so good, and it grew, he grew on me. And he's low-key, maybe David Alenko's son, right? He is. He is, right? Yeah. He never says that, so. Well, he says, I'm, I'm some, I'm some, yeah. some, some Alan co. Co. Yeah, some, 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 some co. Not Alan, but like some, some co. Yeah. Tyler Mahan. Tyler Mahan co. Oh, we got a little donation. Oh, thank you, Chris. Chris Chang. Brian Eno one's really good. I haven't seen that one. Were you just have another drink, bro? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, my guitar is tuned up now. It should be good. We're both tuned together. All right, let's see. Yeah, get that. Let's see. Let's see what I got for you guys. Let's see. 
Oh, that's nice. There we go. Yeah, Car Run Highways is dope. Yeah, tells me the tour bus awesome. Doesn't matter now where I go, yeah, the sun shine brightly on my soul. In her eyes, I see the sweetest expression. She's my love, an angel, baby, but I am seeing the vision tonight. In the light, the light, the light, sacrifice, baby. Hold my hand, I'm your man. Thank you, Isaac. Doesn't matter now where I go because the sun shines brightly, but I don't know. Why her eyes are the sweetest expression? She might love an angel, baby, but I have some temptation tonight. In the lights, close my eyes, every night, sacrifice me, baby. Hold my hand, I'm your man. Understand, I was touched by an angel tonight. I was touched by an angel tonight. I got the link. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Nice. Uh, so, Tara says, my sister keeps telling me to watch the little peep one. That's good. I have that one actually on my uh, Netflix uh, Yeah, he, list. I wonder if there's a footage from our old building. I bet there's lots of old footage from that building. Lots. Lots, lots, lots. Because that's like where he was coming up. That's where he... And I heard that like the that's parties... Where they were living. I heard the parties would go off there. Mm -hmm. I mean, we used to do graffiti all the time. Yeah. We lived in the building. The little peep and like, little trades and all those guys lived in. Uh, like like a year after they all, or a couple of years after they moved out, a year or two, right? Just a year, maybe a year, like a year, like a year and a half, maybe. Because he died like a month or two before we moved in. Yeah, I think they were all out by then, maybe. But like, I remember going there to pick up beer for 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 at Arbs. That thing we did at the spot, remember? Mm. Party we threw with them. Yeah, Ned Arb had a few parties at our spot. I met a little Pete before, about it. I feel like it was just like, what's up, kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I, was like, I thought it was just one of Danielle's friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wasn't really, I didn't really know what was going on. Yeah, rest in peace, little peep, man.
Mendoza. Nice, that guitar is nice now. <clears throat> well, let's start for five, fifty bucks. Move it over a little bit. It'll look sicker, like in that the guitar. Yeah, yeah right there. Yeah. Fifty bucks in like 2016, 2015. I like screwdrivers. I like orange mm. juice. Love orange juice. He must said, "What microphone should I buy? I want to get something fancy." Um, uh, Neumann. Yeah, it just depends how much you want to like drop on it and like what you're trying to do. Yeah, the good, Neumann's, the good Neumann's are like seven hundred dollars. Hit me up. I mean, yeah, that's like the. If you're gonna. We're start, lucky we have one that fucking Jimmy got one for his birthday one time, like a like a special birthday. Yeah, the thing with like microphones, it's like the really, really, really professional. We're a full, we're full, full grown men. Whose established bands rely on uh, microphones we got from our parents, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> daddy, that gave us a microphone. Now we're a band. Thanks, dad. Okay, we're going on tour. Here's our record. Yeah. Now we're on Spotify. And it depends, too. You know, Jim, Jimmy's a little more nerdy about it, but I have like a, a, I have microphones that I like and I, that I think are cool. I like. I, don't, I, don't, I, I know how to use ours. I know like what to use ours, which is nice. Yeah, hit me up, Jabo. We can. Uh... Oh yeah, the, uh, the watch <laughs> watch porn together tape. Is that on here? What? No, it's not on there. What are you talking about? It we... was just the tape, right? It's porn. We didn't put like we didn't upload the sound of us listening to like cocks getting sucked, gagging sounds or pooping or whatever we watched. I don't barely remember it. I was still like I only listened to the one time. That's what I'm saying. I can't. I don't think I ever even listened to it. I think we just like recorded it and I put it out. And I, was I like, feel there we like go. that's that was everyone's. We have a couple good days. We have like watch thing. We have like white thing watches the sunset on the fourth of July. That one's good. And then we have white. We have uh, free weed. Uncle Funkle, uh, Jerry Rogers, and emotional watch Silent Hill. And then we had another watch tape. You just want to get pet. You just want attention. Cause you're a little dog, and you feel like you're not in the pack anymore. Is that what's going on? Come here. You're in the pack, buddy. Say what's up, girlfriend. Come here. That's my dog. That's my dog. I know I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I've been crossing my animals. <laughs> I know. I know. You're still the. You're still the pack. Oh, that pack. would be a cool. That would be a cool like future game where like you and your dog could play the game together. Oh, yeah, a game where you play with your dog? Ah. Damn, that'd be, <laughs> that'd be dope. That'd be dope if we play a new game. Like, yeah. That'd be dope. Isn't that be dope? Yeah. Like, she can catch all the things she wants in, in the 3D virtual. Need that white fang watching the sunset? Fuck, yeah. I only have, I have the one in the archive, which I can't get rid of, and I have one in the white fang. White fang back I have, I need to get you that. I'm totally missing out on this uh, Colin Isaac. Here, dude, he showed us the watch porn tape. That's it right there. Watch porn tape. Hello, Colin, man. That's my dog. Uh... The Silent Hill one? I forgot about the Silent Hill one. That one that one's good too. <laughs> Silent Hill's dope. Yeah. That was Wakefield? Yeah. Yeah, that one was tight. Sure, sure. Oh let me uh let me put on the Isaac cam real quick. Isaac cam. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's a cool song. You wanna try that? All right, start it. Flowers grow, flowers grow in the sun and the rain. Good things can come from. Ask anyone, they'll say the same. Ask me, I'll never be back. Round, round, turn around, get your feet back on the ground. And round, round, turn around. Round, round, turn around, get your feet back on the ground. And round, round, turn it around. Flowers grow. Sun and the rain. Good things can come from that pain. Ask anyone, they'll say the same. Ask me, and I'll never be Round, round, turn around, get your feet back on the ground and round. So I like it. Dude, that was tight. Yeah. We're gonna get better at that one. There we go. That's a good song. Is that on La La Land? No. Oh. That's on song service. It, it's song service. I don't know, but somebody was like, I don't want to feel sad anymore. And I don't want to feel depressed. And like, I need a song about like, just like, fuck all right, that. That's right, that's right. The song is one of the best ones. That's one of the best memories one. It's like yeah. a slept on track. Yeah, that song is bomb. That's on Pretty Bob. What are Jay? I'm smoking roaches over here. Here, catch this. You can't? Oh, shit. I thought it was going to be something to put in for you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I got a good throw. He's got to be ready. Yeah, like, you're good. I got a good throw. Yeah, right. when we start playing basketball, I'm going to start. I'm gonna teach you how to be a good center. I teach you what, what yeah, cause I'm not a runner. No, no, dude. The center is like you okay. just posted, and like I just have to teach you about the game. That way you can see, like, yeah. you can see the game. You know what I mean? Like, it'd be a good center. We we would put together a good dude. Our little basketball team would be sick. Me yeah. And you and Matt and Steel. Carlo. And Carlo. And Our team Jaw. would be dope. We would have a cool little fun team. We could take we could take the Mile High team. Dude, it'd be like me and Matt are like the tough and white guys in that team. Yeah. Every, you're, you're, tall, like, you're tall and big, so I just have to like That's like a full on Asian team. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Asian white team. It's sick. <laughs> we go to the court, like, what's up, dude? Yeah, what's up, fool? Let's go. I mean, That's so funny. We just I just have to teach you the game a little bit. Song service has a bunch of slept on tracks. Dude. Because song so, song service has some inconsistencies. Yeah, for sure. It's like it's just that we recorded it over such a long period of time. 
and we were kind of exper using it as an experimenting platform that some, I think that also it could have been, if anything, the worst is that it could have been maybe arranged a little bit. But we, I just put it out as uh, in the order we finished the songs. So yeah, it could have had maybe a Like better, more of a, like a, a better like a track order. Yeah. Like, That's the only thing. It didn't have to be like a chronological we could have put together like that. Could we have should have just put all the best songs in the front. That could have been all. It could have just been like an extra layer of like. How I mean, cool I love all the songs, songs, and the people who bought them are all love them too. But it's just that like we were at a very like we were trying to make love as a law with like different people's stories. Yeah. It was like long. It was like in La La Land era. Yeah. But we were kind of just like it was our band now. It was like after like we had to be like okay now we're like out a bunch of songs and shit. We were stoked. Yeah. And at that point we were listening to a bunch of like, like. Like Capana and like, like Lobo and shit like that. Oh, Lobo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, we were listening to like a lot Actually, of songs. Actually, like, and... like when when Song Service was going on low key, like that's like kind of when we we got into that Eagles documentary, and we kind of started getting into like, like I guess it's like post Song Service though. Like, like oh, uh, people got mad mad love for for Song Service near. Hey, like, uh, and nobody has it. I got copies, guys. I got copies. I have, I have, uh, Burger sent me a few back in the day. I have, uh, seven. Wait, no, eight. I have eight copies. Look at this. Gatefold double vinyl. Look at that. Look at that. 28 songs. I like Burger how, actually rules. I like how our stream looks right now. I think it's better, like, how, how we're doing right now, like, just simply. But yeah, so so if you really want this record, we got the PayPal, we got the PayPal information right there. It's not on the website, so. You got the Venmo, we can we can sort that out. Diego's my fave, hell yeah, I love Diego too. Diego's great. Isaac great wrote that game. one. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was I, oh, I'm thinking about his burrito. I like Dino's burrito. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call it like an LA burrito per nope. se, but it has like a really awesome Taste is just nice. It's not like any burrito I've ever had anywhere. And to be honest, I've never had the burrito from Dino's. I've only had bites of yours. I was like, oh, so get that. That's good. I always get the chicken. Oh, Brando's here. What's up, Brando? Yes, Brandon. Yeah, sorry, Taurus. Everybody in that picture is on the album in some way. Brandon, you don't want this burrito. You're vegan. It has friendly bird. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, guys. So we're, we're, we're supposed to go till midnight, but we're just going to keep going yeah, until, the, the, until we feel like we're yeah, we're, I'm I'm still on one. I'll probably I'm down to go for a while. But we haven't had any sales or uh, donations. I haven't got an email from Josh Harrison yet. I didn't think it was two thousand dollars. Another sick song. There's a bunch of good little songs. Headshot. Headshot was tight. I love Headshot. I think Headshot's one of the sickest ones. The yeah, Animal Crossing diet for Brandon, yeah. Just fruits. Soon there, I guess that soon there's going to be veggie, veggies. It's just fruits to eat? There's supposed to be like an update with vegetables. Are you doing a shot, Austin? I'll do one with you. I'll do one with you, bud. I'm doing a shot with my little brother. He's my son and my little <laughs> it's, it's brother. Really, it's really crazy how like I'm not like trying to put you down or anything. It's like, no, it's like no, it's like it's like I'm Harmar superstar, and then and then I'm also Austin. Austin's me, and then we're also also Casey from Platinum Boys. Okay, yeah. You know, it's like it's not like it's this is not like you a just look the same. And the post Malone, everything's on post Malone, but like post Malone got his vibe from me. It's like chubby, fun stoner guy with a beard, like chunky guy, like what. What? Yeah. Dude? Like, what? The and then moments. people will be like, oh no, that's not sexy. It's like, uh, uh. Wait, you ever seen what sexy is? Like, get in bed with me, motherfucker. And they'll see what sexy is. Austin, here you go. Me and you. 
Love you, man. I'm excited. I'm excited for the future. I tell you, Brandon Kelly said, I caught that free weed and hip hop eyes. I really is both fart. Okay. You heard? Yeah, I heard. Oh, man. I like it. I like where this is headed. Mm. But yeah, we have your Elgato brand. I mean, I guess we could set up my Switch somehow. It would take yeah, a I just like, I'm, I wouldn't be comfortable with like troubleshooting on the fly. Well, yeah, I want the QR code for the NAR hat. What's the QR code? What NAR hat? It's an Animal Crossing thing. Oh, okay. Sick. Anyways, yeah, um, I want to, I don't know if you really need a background. But like I wanna like get down on the I wanna set up the Elgato thing for Ricky. Stream his shit. I figured out I also figured out why. Um because when I was uh streaming Undertale, my shit was lagging hella hard. So I figured that out. I figured out the workaround of it. Actually, but I didn't figure out the So set. yeah, I think you're joining so I'm not here. All the way there. So I've been growing up my quarantine yeah. beard. And I it's starting to actually come a beard now. I like it. I'm still. It's not it. patching. No, it's a real beard. Yeah, it's for real. Pull Dude, it's gonna start coming out too. It's gonna look sick. Just pull on. Pull on right now. Dude, it's gonna be. Look, at, I can grab it. You know what? I might have a uh, a shitty like other thing. Yeah, so, some, some, something to like just like uh. There's like little puffs. See, there's like little weird little chubby puffs. Okay, here, take this. So, yeah, I could level. I need to level it. I have something like that. But Yeah, I want to play Animal Crossing on mobile too, which is the uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. I was, sorry, I was spacing out. I was trying to think of a, uh, here is something you can't understand. How I could just... But I was trying to make an Animal Crossing. But I couldn't think of anything. Dude, but... I found this fucking Tom Note, or not Tom, but uh, uh, KK Slider covers album. Dude, can you play that? Can you play yeah. Spotify? Yeah, hold uh, I can go on YouTube. Yeah, we do uh, clay, K slider, clay, like, one, two, three, and then uh, thank you next. I love this Ariana, KK slider, Ar Ariana Grande cover. KK slider. So it's clay, K slider. Clay, though. K. Okay. It's like a cover. Yeah. We do Hotel California actually. No, I want to hear thank you. Next. Dude, it's so good. But how can we, can we actually hear it? It'll come up. I, it'll, it'll only come off my computer speakers. This.
Yeah, do uh, Hotel wait, California. Wait. Okay, wait. Oh, Hotel California is the one. Oh, I want it that way. The go mode, sick. Hotel California. The box, he does the box too? Okay. Okay. Yeah, my YouTube already knew. Like I saw it because I put. Fucking KK slider, baby. All right, I'm about to pour up a shot. If anybody wants to join me, hey. what? One is like this. Well, maybe they won't. I wasn't on Instagram. It was only on Spotify. It was like seemed like the one that maybe had contention. It's just that it's not uh, a Clay, Clay Kramer. It's not a Clay Kramer video. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
I have a sister. She shaved her head last night, and she looks exactly like me now. It's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, my sister shaved her head. She looks exactly like me now. Yeah. She like, she even asked me, she was like, uh, should I tell mom or should I just do it? I was like, you should tell her because she might have a heart attack. <laughs> if you just like send her a picture of you with a shave, tell her you're gonna do it, she's not gonna care. I mean, she might not like it, but like, she won't care, you know? <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, it's like, you're be, better off. Because like, it might be, <laughs> and my, my sister just sent a picture to my mom. I'll show you, yeah, my sister's side. But yeah, she shaved her head. She was just like, I'm just trying to like start over. And I was like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, shave it because you want to have a shaved head. Like, it's just tight. That's tight to me, you know? But she does all that. Let me, um. Louder, alright. <clears throat> I 
Sorry, it's just the we were we were jamming on KK for a sec. I was getting excited about KK. We can throw some. We could throw on a, a Kraftwerk song as a as a as a tribute. Oh yeah. But what what one? What's your what what? Octobomb. Yeah, right. That's what I was gonna say too. Throw on this version, the nine minute version. Uh, but yeah, I've kind of just like my, uh, I've just been working on eggs and potatoes. That's my jam right now. Sometimes I bust out the air fryer to make some chicken. Tuck into a burrito roundabout. We'll just do Autobahn because this is Autobahn because this is like the this is like the one. One of the ones. <clears throat> and this isn't the single version. We're gonna play it the nine. We played this the first time we went on Autobahn. <laughs> in 2014 we went, I was like, put this shit on Autobahn. Yeah, for sure. Of course. Got to. I need to, uh, for the next one, I'll figure out a better monitoring system. Ideally, I would love for both of us to just get on, on headphones. That's what I want. That's, like, what I want. I want both of us to be in headphones. You got the mic right up, right up on your chair. Perfect. Just in the background. Like you're bouncing through a pavement field. Yeah, it has a, it has like a very rigid, but like it's hard, but it's supportive. Like that's what Kraftwerk kind of, it has that vibe. This song has that vibe. I feel like you have like a nice comfortable support but it's still rigid and like strong. Yeah. It's not like there's corners, you know. <laughs> Yeah, Isaac's been doing like this is great. That's like what Pumble's job used to be, but now it's like Isaac, Isaac's getting quick with it. It's cool because like uh, it looks like it doesn't look like we're somewhere different, but we're in the same room. The problem is that Punkle's a genius and he gets distracted easily and things get boring to him really fast. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sick. Hey. Yeah, all these shows are canceled. Yeah, we'll What's up, y'all? We're in overtime now. 14 minutes uh, past uh, checkout time. Uh, we're hanging. It's been great. This is a great return. I'm excited. Every Wednesday now, we're going to come back and uh, have a fun little Narcus Night Live every Wednesday. Um, really appreciate you guys tonight. It's been wonderful. Wonderful thing. Oh yeah, my dude in Las Vegas. Yeah, my my Vegas <laughs> dog. He's watching. What's up, my boy? You couldn't tell we were in the same room till ten minutes ago. Yeah, he's just like he's right there. <laughs> the 
tapes behind me are the same tape. Okay, because I'm sitting behind him. If you look right here, look at Wait. Yeah. <laughs> We're not social distancing because we live together. <laughs> it's impossible for us. We're just like we have a we're we're like on the family unit too. Mm -hmm. Like boyfriends. Yeah. Domestic partners. <clears throat> for sure. Yeah, but we're bringing back the Wednesday. Just making Wednesday nights something to do. We got Tuesdays and then we got Wednesday nights. So Tuesday yeah. Nights. And then like I kind of want to like you know I think we should stream games more too. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to stream I think Animal it'd Crossing. Be, I, I think it'd be sick for you to do like Animal Crossing. I think you would sick to you to like stream like Celeste or something like that too. Like just something oh, you've yeah. already, something you've already beat and you're like well versed at and can just like do a run to like super sick. I will, I th we can get it set up. We'll get it set up on your computer too. Like, oh, oh, we, I think that that would be like a key thing. Too. So you can just press and play and play. Press, dude, yeah. you started using the mouse pad and that thing. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I, I just gotta, I, know what you I just mean. gotta trade that thing down, bro. Like, I just gotta go away. Wait, what's happening Tuesday? It's nothing. Just that I, I. Tuesday. <laughs> it was yesterday. Tuesday is my favorite yesterday. day. Yeah. Love Tuesdays. A Tuesday. I love music. Okay. Dude, let's, let's, let's play a song. This is a song I like. <laughs> Jim? Switch boys, switch boys, yeah. Bro, to me, it's literally just like you're like, like just chilling. <laughs> it's like the chill, it's the chillest video game ever. It's sick. I'll give you some salt. Would you get? I'll help you up, bro, because it'll be behind. I'll get you. I'll get you. I'll help you. You know, it ain't no sweat off. It ain't no sweat off my thing. I'll help you plant. I'll come over and I'll, I'll plant some. I'll help you plant some uh, some fruit trees. So you can start selling because like, man, you'll be stoked. But it's like whatever you get your native fruit is like my shit's apples. But like when I go to a fucking island that's got peaches, I just take all those peaches and I make bang. <laughs> I make bang on those peaches, bro. I seriously do like ten peaches will get me like fucking like five G's. But it's like fucking like I'll get like thirty peaches and then it's like oh now we're talking fifteen G's and I get like sixty peaches and I'm like, oh, I'm like what? it's just it's all peaches, bro. Like or whatever. Let's go, all y'all. Let's go. We're gonna play Animal Crossing. Let's die. Uh, he was a young promo of my covers for my upcoming record on the screen. Yeah, email it to me. <clears throat> yes, of course. Email it to me. Yours is peaches? Hell yeah, Carly. All right, so you can come over and take my apples. I'll come over and I'll check some of your peaches. And then you can sell your apples for a bank. Fifty bucks. Nice, thank you, Kendall. Jimmy said, "Also, I forgot to tell you, I was wondering if this dude had my old sick ass Joker Switchblade knife." <laughs> <laughs> dude, James keeps playing. Like, it's my knife, dude. Why so? And it said, "Why so serious on the blade?" <laughs> Human Isaac Arita at Gmail. Yeah, Nar Island. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a Nar tapes office at my house. So we can go in my house, I'll put some couches in there, we can like have a little chill zone. The kick it room. I'll have the lights down to make a lot of lamps in there. <laughs> yeah. I'm so down. Yeah, I think we should. I think I think we can get it going on this. <laughs> oranges, Zoe, yeah, what you have oranges? Those are money, bro. 
<laughs> I mean, they're like the same as the peaches, but like that's money, bro. Yeah, that's why Animal Crossing is cool. I love this game, bro. I stopped playing anything. I stopped only. I only play Animal Crossing. Cause it's like it's like your first like like kind of like online like. You, you, there's that economy and community, there. And community. There's that community and economy there. It's like World of Warcraft. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, without like, without all the like too much of like the the. There's no combat. Yeah, not except the when combat. From a scorpion. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Oh. And so it's cool. It's really, really just about like hanging out with your homies and trying to make the sickest place your homies can chill at, and then your homies will make the sickest place they can make for you to chill at. Yeah, exactly. It's cool. All right, Super well, human cool. says Prince or Ween. No, Ween is you, like, he's like... Di- they're directly influenced by Prince. Prince is like a direct influence on Diener, so it's not the same. Ween is a, is a progeny of Prince. That's too... You can't be like, me or my dad. You can do me like... Me or my dad. Uh, you can do like Prince Michael Jackson. Maybe. Pick me, though. Fuck my dad. Maybe. I'm just kidding. I love my dad. If you're watching, dad, I love you. Love you, dad. Uh, Jimmy pops in on your Jimmy's my fucking boy. He's probably are, are you da- are you like uh 100, 200 feet away right now, Jimmy? Are you at are you at uh, your girlfriend's? Um, yeah, flowers. So I've been getting hybrid flowers. So I got blue wind flowers. I got black tulips, orange tulips. I got pink wind flowers, orange wind orange. Or I got I got uh, orange pansies. I got uh pink roses. I got I got some shit, bro. Yeah, I think we could. Yeah, you, it up. Brandon, yeah, Brandon's right. So in Animal Crossing, you really can't beat it without friends. Like, you can't like for me, for instance, like I'll go island hopping, and I literally can only get my native fruit or one other, what's called a sister fruit. Uh, so peaches is my sister fruit, but I cannot get orange. I can't get oranges unless it's from a friend. Now, the, now I get oranges because because Crux uh, brought me oranges my first <laughs> night. And I planted oranges, so now I have oranges. Okay, so you have. So I, I, you can't. You cannot get. You can't. There's no way you can get oranges without going to skip, or like you can, you can only get two fruits, and then there's like five. So you're like like in order to get the other three fruits that you don't have, you need to get them from friends and plant them, and then grow them yourself. And then everything happens in like it's all in like uh, real time, so like you can only like it takes a couple days, like three days for the from the for them to come. I know this is crazy. So it's like, it, like you go in the morning and it's like morning time. There's different bugs and different fish that'll be out at different times of day, and you want to get them all. It's like it's it's wild, man. It's it, it's amazing. Yeah, I have a whole orange hyacinth now too. Yeah. <laughs> Carly, well, I know it should exist. Yeah, it's deep, right? It's so deep. Also, the flowers, <laughs> dude. The flowers are they use a real real genetics coding. Yeah, they use real, real yeah. like. There's I, a, I, what, I, look I up heard, an article. Look up, a, yeah, look up an article about like how they do the flower hybrid se- uh, system in uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, and they use the real table. I forget what it's called, but it's like the real table of genetics. That's how, so. It's like some of these flowers are like like Jared from Healing Gems is trying to get hybrids right now, and he can't. The ones he's trying to get, he's like trying to get them. <laughs> he's like, no, stop. He's, he's like, like his, his crop is like all fucked up. It's like, yeah, he's trying, he's trying to grow these hybrids, but it's not working. It's hard, dude. Oh, there's nothing. But like Brandon said, Brandon said, you got a lily of the valley. I don't even know how to get a lily of the valley. <laughs> Colin said, I'm downloading. Fuck it, I'm downloading right now. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Um. All the flower. Okay. Here we go. This is a short video. I'll, I'll play it. We'll put it. On, I'll put it on the screen. Hold on. We'll watch it together. What? Uh. This. Uh. This how the hybrid flowers works on. Okay. Say. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Eden Arena. Here to talk about hybrid flowers. One of the most requested. Com- Hold on. One. Okay, here we go. Elements in my book. Turn it up. So it took me a few days to do this because I needed to test it out to see what was the best method to doing it. But I'll just jump straight in. So for hybrid flowers, the best thing you want to do is try and get a uh, oh, no. free by free space. As here, flowers. you can do it anyway. So like the flowers. No. Here, I was hoping. Here, I was hoping here, like here, they're here, gonna talk about the system just... and, and that. It's okay. I didn't even transition to it. Anyways, it's a good thing. We're good. We're good. <clears throat> well, I got the golden watering can. Nice. Yeah. Well, so Brandon, what is up with that like thing you sent me about like how if you have friends come and water your flowers too, it makes like a more of a sparkle or something? Is that what happens? It was like 
Bro, I'm down to smoke some weed and come over and help you get more sparkles in your flowers, Yeah, look, bro. You're, you, don't, don't forget your Switch code's right there, too. Yeah, my Switch code's right there, guys, right below, above the Nine Tapes Night Live. So if you guys want to add me on Switch, uh, we can become friends. But it's fun, man. It's fun. It's relaxing. It's definitely like a different... Pay it's not... To me, the coolest part... It's not about an action game. To me, that's the coolest part about it, to me. It's like a community game, and like it's like a cute game, and it's like a... But it's not cutesy. It's cute. It's like it's, it's kind of cute. There's cutesy elements. Yeah. But it's kind of weird. It's like weird Japanese. But like, yeah. It's sick, dude. I know what you mean. Okay, Zoe has hers up there. Okay, Zoe, there you go. Yeah, we're all getting switches, boy. <laughs> I got my switch like right when it came out because I had a license for like a free weed thing. Yeah. So I had no money to get it when it came out. I got it for like 300 bucks. Yeah. Well, you and really I just, wanted well, because play, uh, I wanted to play Zelda. Yeah, Zelda. And more, well, I played Mario Odyssey first. I played Mario, it was like, because Mario 64. Zelda wasn't out yet, right? No. Yeah, it was, it was, it was but it was like, it was just like Mario, Mario 64 is like my shit. Yeah. And so I was like, I need to play this Mario You're Odyssey. You're a Mario dude. You love Mario. I'm a Mario guy. Yeah, you so love I played Mario Odyssey. Odyssey, I cried, it was amazing. And then I played Zelda and that shit fucking, that was, I'm glad I played Mario Odyssey first. Because Zelda will fucking, that shit will take your life too. I put a hun I put 130 uh, hours into Zelda, but I'm already over 100 hours on uh, Animal Crossing now. Yeah, Mario Odyssey and Mario Kart rule. I didn't play the Pokemon yet. I heard Pokemon. It looked awesome. I love Pokemon. Pokemon Ruby was my shit. Yeah, <laughs> she looks tight, dude. She looks like your dad. She looks like me. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she looks like us. Yeah, that's like so us. funny. Like now. Hell yeah, she looks cool. Nice, she looks cool. Yeah, she looks great. I told her she looks like uh, a Buddhist monk or uh, Asian Bobby Hill. <laughs> she probably feels hella sick having that fucking no hair deal yeah, anymore. Yeah, she loves it, I bet. Like, why even deal with that shit? Remember Odyssey Night? No. <laughs> Grip my, I, get, I got mine first week before lockdown. Grip that last, what are you even playing then, Colin? Since you got it, if you haven't been playing Animal Crossing, what have you been playing? Been playing Mario, Mario Kart, Smash Brothers? Like, I mean, I, 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 what have you been playing? Oh, we streamed Odyssey first night. Right. Okay, wait. Human, so this is a Paisley Park cover? That's what Red and blue version, man. Classic. For some reason, I thought you were going to send What is Astral Chain? What is Astral Chain? Uh, Astral Chain? I'm no, I'm, my phone is. I'm. Uh, oh, that's how I'm seeing the chat. Yeah. You. I could. You could use my. Uh, my iPad. Yeah, Death Stranding. I put a lot of time into. You know, a lot of people hated that game. And it's a very controversial game where people are like very upset with how boring that game was. But it's so funny because it's like, if like if, if it had come out after Animal Crossing, I think people would be more patient with it. But it was just like at the time, it was like everybody was kind of everybody. Was, I feel like the hype coming from Death Stranding in the game world where it's like the people who are mad at it are like weird gamers. It's kind of a weird game. It was like people were like, that was at the time where like people wanted Final Fantasy VII Remake. People want people still want Last of Us 2 and Cyberpunk. People were like, just like that's all they wanted. So it was like people were like in this like, I, like mood for action. And Death Stranding is not that at all. Death Stranding is boring. Uh, but it's fun. I'll play Humans Pussy Park cover behind you. Who? Uh, oh, humans? Yeah. Colin sent me a pic. Oh, shit. Okay. Overcooked 2 rules. I love that game. Tetris 99 kicks ass. I got, like, number 3 once. Really? Uh, yeah. Oh. Yep. I heard Resident Evil 5 is good. I heard Resident Evil 6 sucks, though. Uh, I love Resident Evil 4. Uh, Mario Kart, is it a Super Nintendo system, sick, Rocket League, yeah, yeah, yeah Smash Bros. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Animal Crossing, he got it. That's my boy, he got it, he got it, he got it. All right, Colin. <laughs> Colin, I'm gonna help you too, bro. Anybody, any of you guys? Any of you fools? Who wanna, yeah, dude. Also, yeah. Or oh, sorry, anybody who wants anything, any help from me in Animal Crossing, I'll help you. Uh, but Brandon... Uh, yeah, it's it's also more relevant and, and Death Stranding, the fact that the fucking, the uh, delivery system, because people are too scared to go outside because there's like, it's like they're gonna get sick from fucking the chirillium radiation or, it's like, 
And so they just rely on fucking like delivery Amazon guys. It's pretty funny. In Animal Crossing? No, in, in Death Stranding. Oh. In Death Stranding, your whole job is that you're like, you deliver stuff because like people don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, it reminds, it's scary me outside. reminds me of something. Okay, so yeah, I, I'm playing right now. Okay, this is humans cover of. Oh, yeah, I heard Dragon Ball Fighters is sick. Oh yeah, rabbits. I heard the Mario rabbits is tight. This, there's a really cool documentary on YouTube about how that guy got that rabbits game made. And he was like this weird like French like fanboy dude. And he like even like snuck his way into like meeting the guy from Nintendo back, back in the day when Nintendo was like young. And it's pretty much like it's like a fan, a fan game guy, older dude get got to make a really cool Mario game. It's amazing. Watch it. There's like a little documentary on YouTube if you're interested. Um, yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom, I have Marvel vs. Capcom 3 Ultimate on my PlayStation. It's not installed, but that was one of the first games I got. It's fun. Fighting games are kind of like... Kind of like it's a very specific thing. Yeah, it's very specific and it's kind of you like... Have, kind of like dated to me a little bit. There's a high learning curve. And it's like... People beat your ass. Yeah. Like Smash Brothers, that shit, I can't do it. People do my ass up. Smash Brothers Ultimate is fast. <laughs> it's fast. Spoiler are mean. And it's hard. I can't do shit. And also, like, Mario's moves aren't as cool as when he was in Melee. And Pikachu's kind of the same. But it's like, it just doesn't feel it. I think because I didn't play... What was the one between Melee and Ultimate? Yeah, right? Isn't there a Wii one? I feel like Melee, as far as like competitive... Melee is the one. I feel like as, until the newest one. Yeah, that's too hard. Like they've been playing Melee until... I couldn't get into it. I was like, like oh, come for Smash. Yeah. Like, right. If you follow like the uh, Smash TV sport, I think they've just been playing Melee until this new one that came out. Because the, the, the last one was not good, maybe? I don't know. I don't also, know, I don't know also, which one that As is. somebody who hasn't played in a long time, I got to the menu, and it just seemed like it was like the menu was like designed for people who already... Like, I feel like I missed one. And like... Yeah, I think there's one on the Wii, right? Right. Yeah, I feel like they were just like, here's the menu now, and I was like, how do you even work this game? Like, this just seemed like too custom, too specific customizable, I don't know. The Mario Kart for Switch rips. Mario Kart was good, yeah. yeah. Mario Kart uh, 8 Deluxe, that shit is yeah. nice. That is a nice game. Uh, that one is good. Mortal Kombat 11, okay. Yeah, I heard that was tight. Smash like Bros. Like Brawl, okay. Yeah, I feel like that, that's, where I, that's where I got, that's where I like that my missing link is. Your boy used to be a, a, a serious melee competitor. Yeah, those fools go hard. Yeah, wasn't uh, Palasha Corey? Was, wasn't he like a high level like? Not... He was like wow. I but thought, he, was I thought he was really good. I thought he he was like really really good at. So yeah, Jimmy, like... you gotta play Doom Eternal. What you say, Isaac? I was just saying that uh, I feel like Corey was like really good at Smash. I feel like Fungal was telling me maybe that that uh, he. Uh, was like a top, like he was a competitor in like the scene or whatever. I'm not sure. Okay, so I was just sent me a song too. Well, song too. Do his song. Oh, it's 1234. Make a wish. But his song sounds like. Sorry you can't hear it right now. I'll figure that out for later. But it's back now. It's still back now. I've not watched a Smash Bros. I mean, like, kind of like, I watched, I watched uh, competitive Tetris. That's fun to watch. That's really fun to watch. Yeah. Also, it's like really fun to watch is Marvel Racing. Marvel Racing's good. Actually, I watch, I watch CS:GO still. I, I try to keep up, keep up with the CS:GO. Cause you were like, you're old school. Like, yeah, yeah. I love Counter Strike. Um, back in, from back in the day, and so it's like easy. It's easy to pick up like later on, but it's fun to watch too, cause I understand the game, shit like that, like. Probably, yeah, Zelda will take, Zelda's gonna take up your time. It's amazing. 
though. That's like a mess. That's like, that's like it looks like one of the most beautiful. Like, it's one of the, it's like that's one of the must plays. Of it's the, like Sistine Chapel shit to like, me. Like, yeah, that's what it seems like. If there's only three games you ever needed to play to me on Smash Brothers or on Smash Brothers, on on Switch, it would be Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild. Animal Crossing, and then maybe Mario Kart. Like, cause to me, like, I've never played it, and I really, really wouldn't, like, like with Breath of the Wild, I don't know if I, I'd enjoy it and, like, really, like, go for it like that, but, like, it just seems like one of those, like, monuments to humanity type games. Like, that's, like, a real deal, like, you know, fucking, yeah. You know, Carla, I didn't play, I haven't played Metro, but I want to play Metro, Metro Exodus really bad, cause I like horror shit. I, I love horror a lot. I want to play VR Tetris, that sounds amazing, Brandon. Yeah, Zelda is frustrating if you don't. I don't know. It's amazing, but there's some parts about it that are a little frustrating, yeah. Yeah, but Carl, you won't regret Breath of the Wild. It is a special game. It just seems like one of those, like. You have to experience yeah, it. Pinnacle, pinnacle yeah, it's also like every time Nintendo makes a system, there's always a Mario and a Zelda game that is like. The best thing on the system to show you how to use that, that the limits of the system in the right way, and both Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild kind of like help ex exhibition the like powers and the strengths of the Switch in like the funnest way, and it's amazing. Yeah, Brandon said top ten videos of all time, or top ten video games of all time. Yeah, I would throw it up there for sure, definitely. I'm an Ocarina of Time guy in terms of like style and like influence on to me. It would be sick for you to stream like that too. I have it on I have it on N sixty four. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hey, yeah, Brandon, how much is an Elgato? Because we have yours, we want to use it, but I I just buy one then, right? They're like eighty dollars or something. That's like kind of expensive, but I'm down if that's we're like that, that's not that much. I'm down to like stream video games though. If people are like down to watch. I guess human has a point too it's like if you're coming up on zelda games then it's like like you can't play breath of the wild first right and then go back to like ocarina of time like you might it, not yeah you but might, like, it might not hit the same no, you know but what she I mean? might but she's probably not gonna play that anyway yeah oh, yeah there's gonna be too many other good games coming out all the time that's a good point that's a good good point and i feel like that's the reason why they haven't reissued Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask on Switch yet because it's just kind of like interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's it's just, kind of redundant. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also kind of like if you really want to do it, you're gonna get the retro system. Yeah, that's a good point. And like, yeah, I don't think you're like Ocarina of Time is cool, but it's also like, it's also I don't think it'll hit anybody. You're gonna you're gonna have to want to like it, which is like kind of just like you don't have to do it. Like Breath of the Wild is better. It's a better game. Straight up. It's just like, it's just more. There's more to it. I don't know. Ocarina of Time is like my was my favorite, but it's more for the music. But you can just look up the music on YouTube and soundtrack like all the time. That's I what I do. Like I, listen I listen to the music on YouTube more than I play the game. I like listening to the fools playing like classical guitar or like. It's just other than playing Gerudo Valley. It's all about like the Gerudo. Yeah. The fuck. Well, great song. Ouches. That was tight. Thank you. All right. Whoa. Jimmy said he watched a thing on YouTube the other day about Nintendo suing Blockbuster for copying the manuals uh, because they were trying to fight the rental business. Yeah, I saw, I have that. That's, um, what, what channel is that? That's, um, I have that in my recommended right now. I haven't watched it yet. Yeah, human. Yeah, it'd be good for a the game. I agree. Yeah, Blockbuster days is a good time in life, man, for sure. Blockbuster and chill, man. Yeah, it was sick. So back in the day, me and my mom would go, and then she would get her movie, and I get my movie, and we watch both movies, you know, on the weekend or whatever, and that shit was tight. Yeah. So I have like a weird affinity for like shitty '90s rom coms. There you go, guys. A shot. Cheers. Twelve thirty-nine. Right on time. Long we should listen. Gerudo Valley from Zelda Ocarina of Time. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, how would we? How do we want to listen to the? What? 
you want to listen to like the actual yeah yeah Koji Kondo is the same composer who did all the like the Mario games. He's just an amazing producer. Huh? The art is awesome. I didn't really realize it was like cheesy. It's kind of cheesy. I didn't realize it was cheesy like right now. It's like pretty cheesy. You know what I mean? You ever play Wind Waker? Do you not have a GameCube? N64, but I never played um, Ocarina. Oh. By that time, I was like into CS already. Ah, uh, yeah. <clears throat> cool. And like that, like took my whole thing. Over. Right. I mean, I played like Halo Two. I played Halo Two. Um, through. I had an Xbox. My sister had an Xbox. But I missed a lot of like good games of that era because I was. Oh, is it your birthday, Sartorius? Interesting. It's his birthday. Yeah, I had a NES, and then I had a SNES, and then after SNES, I got a 64. And then my dad got a used PlayStation 1 that was modded. So, like, we were able to go to, like, the Chinatown and get, like, the sick bootleg games. You know what I mean? Well, sick. He had Joe Oh, dude. So, I had, like, snacks of games. Maybe, like, five bucks, you know? And so, like, I'd have snacks of, like, I had all my games. So, I got Pro Skater, Resident Evil. Like, every every game you, you know, like, like I didn't have every game, but, like, I, I well, had, for like, Sexy for? For PS1. Whoa. For PS1, yeah. I got it modded. So, it would... It Jailbroke. Would, yeah, Jailbroke. So, like, it would read burned discs. So like I had, but the thing is, it's like they would be a little. Sometimes they'd be a little bit different than like the actual one. You know what I mean? But like I, I that was so. So after PS One, I went to PC pretty much, and then, I mean, I was PC the whole time too. Like I grew up with PC the whole time. Like, I had the hell. Yeah, my stepdad had that. Played a lot of StarCraft. Yeah. Warcraft, Age yeah, of yeah, Empires, yeah. Age of Mythology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like you go back to Tribes. Or like uh, I like I even like the, um, the the Star Wars games Rebel Assault. Rebel Assault is one of my favorite. I play that one. Oh uh, man, that would be a good one to play like now. Like it's fun. Um, Rebel Assault, Tie Fighter. Tie Fighter is like old school X Wing. Those types of games I really liked. Um, but yeah, like Doom. I remember like I I I had Doom like when it came out. We were doing that whole fucking thing. Um, but yeah, when I, when, once I got to PC, it was just kind of like, that was my shit. And then, like, Halo, to me, was compelling enough. And I played through ha Halo 1 and Halo 2. I, I, I played through both of those. Both oh, of yeah, those Pepsi Halo Man is crazy. <clears throat> oh, that game was... It, pep, wait, I'm thinking of um, the 7-Up game. You know what I'm talking about? No. 7-Up game, like, with the 7-Up the cool, cool guy, I think it was called. I don't know. Ah. You know, Brandon knows what I'm talking about. The Lucas, I haven't played Lucas the Child of the Colossus, but I got it. I haven't played it yet. I heard it's really, really good. Listen to the intro song. Intro song. Burrito's gone. Dwangle, the uh, Death Stranding story is good, but they, it's dragged out. You gotta, like, play. It seems like you have to be, like, really committed to it. 
You gotta play through like the whole fucking game before you find out anything at the end. Pretty much. Whoa, human. Yeah, you reminded Burger King Xbox games. What was up with that? that you just brought back a weird memory when you said that. Yeah, there was like a weird hierarchy there over the over the years, right? Because I feel like a big consensus is like people will say like Xbox 360 was better than PS3. But obviously, PS4 is better than than Xbox. Whatever it is. One or whatever it is, right? And so Xbox it's like, One X. Because I feel like a big part of it was like everyone had Xbox 360 because of Halo, and then like Call of Duty got big on Xbox, you know? Like everyone came up on 360, but then like obviously. PS4 was the, the superior machine to, to the Xbox 360 and, and the one. I'm not trying to talk shit. I'm just like thinking about the, the timeline. Phone you know. Soup says my first game I got serious with was Diablo, which is the yeah. original Diablo or Diablo 2? Uh, Diablo 2 was my, like, I played the original Diablo a little bit. Like, Diablo 2 is real. That was my. I'm the same with you. Like, I feel like I was just a bit too young to really, like, I played it. But I was a bit too young to like really Diablo 2 was my shit. Diablo 2 for me also, yeah. For sure. That was a good, great game. Actually, I was like, I started playing Rogue. Rogue, like the text based, text based RPG, gender color shit on the iPad. Recently, I was playing a little more of that. Um, but yeah, Diablo 2, amazing. I just got, um, I just got done playing Passive Smoke, uh, the Undertale last week, maybe, and I've been trying to run through the, uh, the genocide mode. It's just, like, it's been really, really hard. And, um, I'm gonna, I wanna stream that a little bit more, but, <sighs> that, that level is just gonna be hard. There's Diablo back when, you, when Yahoo had chat rooms, wow. Dude, yeah, of course Yahoo, ch and, like, fools, like, would be on MSN chat too. MSN oh chat yeah, dude, LSD is a weird game. Do you guys know about that game? LSD Dream, LSD Dream Simulator? That game is crazy. They have it over at Davy's house, but they did. That is weird shit. That's awesome. It's very fucking trippy. I want to stream my OG Xbox Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Why would you play Tony Hawk? That's an Xbox that? game. Who said that? Or that's a PlayStation game. Brandon. Brandon, dude, if we're going to, like, what? Xbox is Tony Hawk 3. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 is the one on Xbox. I will destroy you at that game. I know no one brought that up, but I'm going to bring it up. Xbox, the, Tony Hawk 3 is the am, best one. I am so good at Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3. Power one and three. three. One and three. Woo! Two is awesome. Woo! Two also, but, like, it's like three is just, like, one, like two is just as good. Three is the best one. Three is the best one. Yeah. Three is the best one. It has a great soundtrack too. Also, um, yeah, you have three. Yeah, I will wreck you on Xbox Three. Oh, not Underground. I'm not. A, I'm not a thug. I don't. I never played the. Thug. Oh, dude, I love Underground. I didn't play those ones. The thug. Turn out Underground. Yeah, turn out Underground. Thug, dude. Thug one, thug two. Yeah. yeah, dude, I was a crazy into Thug One. Thug One's my shit. Yeah, I was super good at that. <laughs> I was crazy good at that game. Dude, yeah, I've been, I've been getting like, dude, I've been getting like a million combos. Like, I would get a combo, I would get like one point eight million on one yeah. combo, shit like that. Like, like crazy. Like, like it was just like, like just not. I was just there was no way it could stop me. I was just yeah, too you good. Got that shit. You're or, good. It was just too good. I like fucking hundred percent of that fucking game. Yeah. I, I fucking I, beyond hundred percent of the game. There was like nothing to do anymore. I was like I fucking smashed that game. Yeah, I'm bombed like that on uh, on Tony Hawk Three Foundry, just that level. Other levels, you can get me. I'm alright at Rio. Yeah, but nothing will compare to the soundtrack of the first one. Yeah, of course. So here I am. I love all those fucking... Gary was a rich driver. Yeah. They're the number one. <laughs> I was like, what is this song? This is sick. Like, uh, and then there's Dead Kennedys too, right? Da -da 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 yeah. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> Brown. Tonight's the night that we drive the truck. We're going downtown, gonna beat up drunks. You're right. gonna drive, I'll bring the beer. It's a late, late shift, no one to fear. And ride, right. ride, right. how we ride. <laughs> Let's ride. It's like Dead Kennedys on a fucking video game. It's on like, this is game. the life, dude. Yeah. 
This is what life's all about, baby. I don't remember if you remember the game uh, uh, Grind Session. Do you remember that skating no. game on PS1? That, that soundtrack was super sick, too, because they had, like, Dr. Octavia. Like, Blue Flowers was on that fucking... On that game. Imagine, just, imagine playing a game with blue flowers. Oh, what game? That was the fuck, grind session. Oh, yeah. I heard that game had a crazy soundtrack. Imagine, like, blue flowers being, like, on your PlayStation. Is that what that game's called? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Grind session. It's not very good. <laughs> yeah, it's, like, all weird, like, hard as fucking skate, right? Yeah, it's not very good, but... I remember but, watching Chuck play that at his house. It, but but it was, like, the... Like, someone had to, like, step up to Tony Hawk. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, Thrasher had crazy, crazy, uh... Thrasher game, Skate or Die. Thrasher, Skate or Die. That was that game right. was? That's right, yeah. There was a Thrasher game, too. Yeah, I had a good soundtrack, too. Oh, uh, yeah. Grand Thrasher. Damn, dude, we're about to be out of booze, bro. I know, exactly. I had a feeling we should have got some, but we had no idea. Grind Session was easier than Thrasher. I heard Thrasher was hard. Oh, yeah, that's the game I watched. Are you sure Thrasher didn't have the... Thrasher had a crazy soundtrack, too. That's all I remember. Well, that was, like, the cool thing about all the skateboarding games. Thrasher like skate before... All I used to do with skate was a haul of meat. Just, like, try to crash really badly. Break the bones. Grind session. It was hard. It didn't make sense. Like the physics weren't good in grind session. Grind session. Grind, se <laughs> grind session. Grind session. Grind session. Gosh, I have a shit coming over. We're gonna have grind session. <laughs> grind session. <laughs> Damn guys. All right, so it's coming up on one o'clock. I think we're gonna. Yeah, it's the we're gonna call it at one. It's been a good night, guys. We got a good, we got a good thing going. It's been fun, and uh, I think that uh, I think we did it tonight, guys. Yeah, sounds good. What do you guys think? Did you guys have fun tonight? I really hope that this uh, Josh Harrison uh, throwing down two thousand dollars to make this covers album is going to happen. That's going to be a really beautiful thing. CNC Surf and Skate, yeah, for Nintendo. I remember that game it was sick. I remember my mom almost didn't let me rent that game from the video store because there was like a girl with a bikini on the front, I think. I think that's the game. Dude, I remember I had fucking Metal Gear Solid 2 in my hand. My mom was in the drive and she was like, wait, what does this uh, rated T for teen mean? You're not, as it's sexual yeah. themes? I mean sexual. I don't know if you should be, I was like, what? <laughs> God damn it. Missed out on that whole thing, dude. Tactical espionage. And our Zoom next time, yeah, dude. Next next week, let's we'll set up. If you have Zoom, we'll get we'll get Zoom. We'll we'll call in. We can call in. Do you, do you make sure she didn't go shit upstairs or something? Well, looks like you will. Check the bathroom. Uh, Goddamn. Nothing? Brandon, curious, what are your top three games of all time? Is that a crazy question? And I couldn't do top three games of all time. I mean, I guess it'd be like... Hmm. Resident Evil 4. Half-Life 2? No, no. Like maybe Mario 3, maybe Tetris, original Tetris, maybe. I don't know, man. I don't know. Helen says, I'm going to see you on the island. Hell yeah, boy. Well, there you go. Your Switch code's right there. Yeah, hit me on the Switch, Take guys. We're going to wrap it up here tonight. I hope you guys had a fun time. Chilling with Nartapes, man. We did it. We did a thing tonight. We fucking brought back Nartapes Network. 
and it's fun. it's fun. I think we're I, I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun, and uh, I think it's gonna be a really good thing, man. And uh, we're gonna be back next Wednesday, um, same time, nine to midnight. Can we knock. Up there. Nothing? Let her outside. She's having a fucking panic attack. We roll a joint before we go out of here. Huh? Yeah, man. It's been a good night. It's been a good thing. Good to bring back the NAR tapes. Hope to see you all guys on the island. Gonna be tight, man. What is she freaking out about? Hey. You checked on the porch? You open the door? I, thought, I said I think somebody was knocking or something. You didn't check, you didn't open the door? up there. What? That's what she was barking about? Something I can think of. I closed it. Interesting. Interesting. Right Dwangle, an A Animal Crossing. Go to an island. You uh, there's a few different ways. Um, you can get an invite. You can also, if you're you basically the islands you need to visit. There's different types of islands you can go to, but to visit like a friend's island, who have like you need to uh, either get a code from them or they need to go open the door and you just go there it's kind of it's harder to explain it's easier to do than explain it's easy, it's easy to do though. Mega Man 2 is always top 3 because of the first game you ever wanted interesting Mega Man 2 that's hard that's a hard game Shadows Die Twice to me game. that game is just like a lot of people just don't do it <laughs> <laughs> they just like get to it and there's like what like Robbed you of like beating the game, like just like too difficult. But people speed run it and shit. It's crazy. You gonna get Animal Crossing, baby? Yeah, we're gonna be some Animal Crossing chillers, dude. We're gonna have a good ass fucking time. And uh, it's one o'clock right now, and so uh, as soon as Isaac rolls the, uh, this J and lights it up, we're gonna say good night and smoke this joint to ourselves and think of you all. Uh, while we uh, wind down for the evening and uh, embrace the coming hangover in the morning. Uh, I really want to say uh, again that I really appreciate you guys and that uh, this has been a really wonderful evening for me and I hope for you as well. Uh, I'm yeah. So with that, I say good night to you and we will see you again on the Nartex Network next Wednesday, 9 p.m. to midnight. Or later on the Nartapes Network. Uh, watch the socials. Peace.